Yeah, big talking brewskis. Marissa Smith is who you see. What a cooler combo in here. Crack a cold one, we're on the air. Big talking brewskis. Marissa Smith is who you see. What a cooler combo in here. Crack a cold one, we're on the air. Kicking back, having a few beers, we're chatting. Pull up your chair, we're all relaxing. Any subject, we never dismiss. Big talking brewskis with Marissa Smith. Comedy, sex, relationships, war. Any subject, we got it in store. Big talking brewskis is coming in live. Crack when no bin, Marissa has arrived. Hey guys, happy Friday! This is Big Talk and Brewskis. I'm Marissa Smith. I've got Rodna Daniels with me. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. It's Big Talk and Brewskis time. I've got Tate Winston with me. Ew. And I've got Madison Shepard with me. Hi. Hey. Hello. So, uh, Rodney, how was your week? Uh, my week was good. I just uh, worked, and then um, you know I'm adjusting to like my new apartment. I just moved uptown to the Heights. Nice. And um, I have uh, some neighbors. Like I've seen this raccoon three times on the street. Burn it and down. It's fucking <laughs> Burn freaking me out. Like oh, I, I saw it the first time when I was like coming home from work. And I was just like, I literally like saw it coming down the street, and like I walked across the street and then down the street again to like avoid it. And then, like, I was meeting my rec- regular guy that's been like sucking my cock, mm-hmm. um, like, like around two o'clock in the morning. And this motherfucker was literally standing on the corner waiting for the crosswalk. <gasps> I'm shitting you not. I walk around the corner, <laughs> and the raccoon is just on the corner waiting for the crosswalk. Oh, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and it's not a small raccoon. He's like the size of a small dog. He's like this. Oh my god! Like, oh. I didn't even know they had city raccoons. Man. Dude, really? me either. This Are is you Manhattan. Sure this wasn't no. a rat. In no, this was a place. raccoon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like, I didn't know that they had raccoons. Like, seriously. Yo. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I used to live on 174th, and I was going up my stairs once. I lived on like a six story walk up, and <laughs> yeah. on the fifth floor, I'm on a 173rd. Raccoon. It might be the fucking same raccoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I almost put my pants. Oh my it was God. like, no. It's out of nowhere. Terrifying. Maybe because there's a big park right there, too. I think uh, so. Yeah. I'll just yeah. say yeah. that the wildlife in New York City has been unexpected, uninvited, and unappreciated at <sighs> every turn. My God. Yeah. 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 There's like. I saw rats climbing up the subway stairs. I almost fainted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, 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 you're in from LA, right? Yeah, and yeah. Um, we oh, have wow. wildlife like mountain lions and shit, but they're like in the mountains. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, walking like, around on the street saying hi. They're not on like Sunset Boulevard, exactly. Like, chilling yeah. in your apartment lobby or whatever, like waiting yeah, for the crosswalk. My God, like, yeah. they are just like, <laughs> knew not to cross the street. Scream. Acclimatized to the city environs, I do not appreciate it. I would just scream, like literally, which is like, ah! I know, I was like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have really spooky little claws. Yeah. They, they would fuck you yeah. up. Yeah. You know? like, and his, he was, his like, back was like hunched, mm. and he was just like standing there, like ready to pounce. He's like, let's no, go, he's bitch. Like, yeah. He's not fucking around. He's like, I'm waiting for this crosswalk. You want to fuck with me or not? Nah? No, they, <laughs> sound, they sound Dominican, though, in the Heights. Yeah. 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 So they're like, like puto like, cabron. So, T, how was your week? Oh, it was crazy, but dope. It was yeah. good. Very busy. Yeah. Operating on no sleep. But yeah. Fun yeah. as fuck. Told a bunch of dick jokes on stage. That was dope. Yeah. Dick jokes. Yeah. Love yeah. Some dick jokes. Loves oh. some delicious yeah. dick jokes. Yum. Yummy, yummy dick jokes. Madison, how was your week? Oh, my God. Okay, so first of all, um, I had to fly here on a red eye, which I did not know was, like, not a... I'm very, like, new to the world, apparently. <laughs> like, I don't know about fucking anything. So, I, it's just been, like, it was crazy right before I, like, left home, like, dealing with work stuff. I had to train my temp, which I didn't know about. Anyways, this is all a fucking stupid thing. And then I came here, and I saw rats. But I've had really good sets. Um... I'm nice. here with you guys, nice. which I'm really excited about. Awesome. It's fucking cold. Who told me to break in Doc Martens walking around the streets of New York City? <laughs> yeah, no. I'm telling no. you, I have not been uh. anywhere. I have not experienced life. I am a noob, apparently. <laughs> you have steel toes, though? Huh? You have steel toes? No, honey, they're healed. Okay. Oh, you got uh, heel Doc Martin? Yeah, like take that. a look. Hi. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah, yeah, they're cute. You see, I have one of the splatter print ones, right? Oh, say I what? love them. Yeah. Oh, those are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, those are gorgeous. Yeah, I love docs, but like, you They're know, my when favorite. I, I you just can't break thinking. them in. Yeah. When you're Dude, yeah. that first like two, three weeks, it's just like, oh, God. Pain. It's oh, just God. Pain. It's pain. But then 
Once you break them in, though, they're yeah. your favorite pair of shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have Doc Martens from when I was like 16 years old, and they still rock. They still mm-hmm. fit my foot perfectly. Because no, no matter how much you beat them up, they still look great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Actually, they look better. They look, look kind of tore up. Yeah. I'm so. not yeah. edgy enough to wear Doc Martens, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to your white man realness. You can. <laughs> you beard. I think you really On can make it happen. Anarchy you could. Shit. You could yeah. make it happen. You could make it happen. <laughs> right. You know what? I think that would be a really cute look for you, and you should not poo poo it. Cool, cool. Yeah. It means See, I need to get more creative. Thing. Tattoos and shit. Doc yeah, Martens look great on everybody. I feel like. like do you have like tattoos, Tate? Right? Uh huh. Oh, how many yeah. tattoos do you have? Five. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Okay. They're just okay. a tattoo for one of our faces. Like yeah. each one for <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> So I've got a tattoo for everyone in the room. <laughs> that would be marvelous. Oh, like, uh, what are they of? Um, this is some nerdy shit. What two are the the universal angle of fighting? So it's like the it's like some. Oh, he's taking ge- a shirt. No, off. I'm not going to. It's just some geometric <laughs> shit. Yeah, I'm really for it. Usually, if it was, <laughs> do it. If it do was it. a t-shirt, I'm, I'm, we're not <laughs> trying to meet you, Tate, right now. <gasps> really? yeah. I oh, okay. Uh, yes, um, that's but yeah, it's just a bunch of angles and shit. And then I had that on my leg too. And so then you I have two of the same tattoo. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's um, interesting. But it's because like the one I have inverted at a 45 degree angle. So I can see it, like when I'm driving a deuce and my panties are off, and I can just look down. I'm like, oh shit, there it is. Oh okay. you know, Because I can't are really. Off? My panties. I don't wear panties, chill. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying no, to I'm just kidding. I, d- I do wear panties. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> only lacy ones. But yeah, so I have it here, but I couldn't really see it, so I got it again. Uh, and then I have like a little doodle my grandpa used to do um, uh-huh. on like birthday cards and Christmas cards and shit. And so when he died, I got that in my bag. Oh. Sweet. Um, oh. But it's kind of it, it's silly. Like it looks like it. Like his nose looks like a dick. It's like a ridiculous <laughs> caricature, you know. Like it's like goofy. Did he draw himself? Dude. Is that what? Uh-huh. It is? Yeah, it's oh, basically himself. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Um, and then like a fantasy book logo tattooed on my. What on my fantasy leg. book? Uh, Wheel of Time. It's a series, very, okay. very Tolkien esque. Some high fantasy nerdy shit, you know. Okay. Sometimes I'll really a, relate to that. Yeah, and then a Kurt yeah. Vonnegut yeah. tattoo on my uh, on my bicep. Oh, okay. Nice. Wow. You had a lot of really smart tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, they know. should be. You should like think about them. I feel like. Before. Yeah. It's like, put something on your body for forever. I definitely have a tattoo that I have on a dare. Uh, my ex uh, was like, "I dare you to get a tattoo," and I was like, "Anything I want." And he's like, "Yeah," and I was like, "All right." So I got it on my upper thigh, and it says, "She don't need no man," which is a big <laughs> Frida lyric. So, <laughs> forever. <I> don't <laughs> <know>. Yeah. <laughs> forever on my upper thigh. Mm-hmm. She don't need no man. I don't, I, except for the one who paid for it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. She needed that man at that time. I did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I How did. about you, Rodney? Uh, I've got four. Oh, four you do? Tattoos. Yeah, I'm tatted. So, like, like, technically <laughs> five. I'm <tatted>. Yeah, I'm <laughs> tatted. Technically five, because one of them is like a cover up. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay, got, what was the cover up of, uh, first of all? Uh, you know, I was. I got my man's chest, my man's name on my chest, oh. right across my heart, Mr. Williams. Oh uh, yeah, and now it says what? And now it's a phoenix. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Is that the flame <laughs> yeah, 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 like, like <laughs> for real. He Fuck just that burnt his house down. Right. I came out a new person. Yeah. It's like yeah. Williams yeah. and Ashes, bitch. Right. Um, and then I, um, I have a scorpion on my leg. Are you Scorpio? Yeah, I'm a Scorpio. Yes. Yeah. Wait, yes. is that why? Wait. Okay. When That's why we're uh, here. Right. Right. Now. right. We you both have on Doc like, Martens. I also yeah. moved here from LA. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we miss you. Come back. But it's um, I'm I'm Halloween. Okay. It's my birthday. Uh, November eighth. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. also a Scorpio, Tate? <laughs> no. like I'm, I'm a Taurus. Oh, I'm a Taurus. Oh, <gasps> shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is about to be a crazy sex. Right there we go. Like, oh, my God. Honestly, yeah. like, that's why we all are going to get along during this whole recording. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, Taurus like, and Scorpios, amazing. like, fucking get on. We, yeah. 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 Instant, like. Yeah. Yeah. Bossy camaraderie. <laughs> boss level shit. We don't take yeah, no shit. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. You see, we got the cross tour Scorpio action happening, you guys. Um, so, uh, Madison, have you gone through any really bad breakups recently? Well, yes, I have. Um, <laughs> I am currently uh, in a breakup. My ex, who's also a comic, um, is um, in Los Angeles, currently moving out of my apartment, supposedly, uh, as I'm here. So. <laughs> Woo! Question about that. Yeah. Right. Allegedly, <laughs> so moving out of my apartment right now. You're so. going to get back to your apartment. He's going to be moved out. Amen. You didn't want to be there? Because what if sure he steals like, your shit? What if he fucks everything up? 
I mean, you know, he could. I don't really, you know, I have jo- jokes in my act about it right now, but he just not, he's not that dude. You know, he's kind of beta male. Uh, oh. When he hears that, he's not going to love oh, that I said shit. it, but uh, he's, not, oh. he's not tough in that way. Um, so I don't think he's going to steal from me. He, his mom raised him right also, I guess. All right. But, All right. Yeah. But it's cool. it's definitely tough being in a breakup. Ugh. How long are you guys know. together for? Like a year. Oh, yeah. so it's not it's not crazy, but it's crazy <laughs> to be he living with that. Me. I was gonna say a year could be like intense. Yes, we had a like, whole situation. They lived together. Yes, like, yeah, like together. how long how? before you? Yeah, before before you, you moved get, in with each other. Well, he moved in with you. Well, because he moved in with you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and then you kicked him out. Yeah, he moved in pretty pretty early, like. <laughs> Pretty much straight away, straight away. He lived with me. Um, but we yeah, three weeks. <laughs> That's how yeah. Scorpios do. I know. I re- I, my thought is like, you know what? Why not try it? Figure out if it works or not. If it doesn't work, then you find out soon, and then you know, no harm, no foul. Yeah, but you don't find out soon. Yeah. yeah, it took it took like eight months, ten yeah. months, but oh, you know, ten months, back. and then you spend the last two months like Damn, trying I to want break this up, fuck around my mm-hmm. house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's gonna love me talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> he already got mad at me about talking about it on stage, and I was like, "Motherfucker, like you don't pay my bills, and I'm a comic, so sorry." Hello, sorry. that's life. Mm-hmm. But like, how did he get in the house if he's not paying the bills? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> ooh. <laughs> He has a like live streaming are this as he's carrying boxes right now. Yeah, he's gonna be like, God Mother damn it. <laughs> <laughs> How dare she? Yeah. Well, he can um. Shannon if he wants to. Um, so now, Tate, have you gone through any bad breakups recently? Uh, yeah, moderately recently. Yeah, pretty pretty terrible one. Yeah, uh, I was living with her as well. So okay, it was, yeah, it was mm. pretty brutal. It was it's pretty, not pretty, it's pretty not catastrophic. Not, did you break up with her? or Did she break up with you? I broke up with her. Uh, do you feel a lot of like upset about being the person doing the breaking up? Like, do you feel like uh, upset about it? Um, or do you feel like you processed it before it happened? Some. Uh, I don't know, man. It's 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 remarkably complicated. Yeah, I definitely fear feel like I, I bear responsibility for a lot of fucking heartbreak and pain for sure. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it was just like you you have to focus on what you're doing. You know, like she wanted to make humans and like get married and shit. And I was like, mm-hmm. a, I talk about my penis on stage every night, ma'am. Like what? <laughs> like, I mean, there are plenty of people um, uh, who do that who also have wives and kids. For sure, for so sure. But I'm just, not that. I'm not the it. right version of that dick talking about person. Right. Yeah, I'm. I'm a man child for sure. So yeah, oh. it was a bummer, but it was just like it was super intense. Uh, How long were you guys together? Shit, we were together for over two years. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. How long did you live together? For essentially that whole time as well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the tour is also like dramatic, very yeah. dramatic. Yeah. Like We're lit. nesters. It was <laughs> Hello. Right. I don't very want you loyal. to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. You stay now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you want to go to your apartment? It's here now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will wait and in the car you when you bring your stuff downstairs. Um. Yeah, I mean, I had a, I mean, I haven't had like a recent bad breakup, but like I had a, a breakup that was like, you know, like kind of intense, but like we were together for like I'd say like, I don't know, like a year and three or four months or so, yeah, but true. like it wasn't. I feel like the breakup was intense, but I don't feel like the relationship was that intense. Like we mm-hmm. weren't living together, like you know, right. and then it was just kind of like, oh yeah, I can't like. I, all right, so now I'm going to I'm going to be the one owning up that I'm a horrible human being and I broke up with him 3 days before Christmas. Um, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> honey, honey, honey. What what prompted that though? There had to be something. Oh, there know. was. There was. There totally was. There was yeah, a lot of things. Do that yeah. Just cause it it was like there. I and then I was at first I was like, well, I'll just see this through the holiday and then I'm just like I cannot bring this into another year. Like, mm. like we started. To, yeah. Well, technically, according to the calendar, if you had broken up with him on the twenty sixth, you would have been good to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, but then go. it's just like, like then you're but then just like I a couple buy more you days, a gift and then it's like, oh, we might as well oh. do New Year's, and yeah, like, no, that's like terrible. I was just like, I just I'm like I'm ripping the bandaid off like right now. And mm. uh, I, I didn't even know that I was going to break up with him when I broke up with him. It wasn't like I had a plan. It wasn't like, yeah. like oh, you know something? Like, we're going to break up today. It was just like, oh, I don't think I can do this. You know something? I can't do this. All right, this is done. Like, mm. yeah, yeah. 
you know. But That's a Scorpio Taurus trait. We yeah. definitely like know when something is done. <laughs> right, we make no, decisions. Always you into astrology. Over. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Or it's just like Los humans Angeles. are fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> No, because everybody's not. It's. I mean, I don't know. I'm really into astrology. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. so, cool. like, yeah, cool. like, Scorpios and Tauruses have that, like, in common. Yeah. Like, that's, like, one of our traits is that, like, we are very, like, kind of black and white. Like, if we're yeah. done with something, it's, like, fucking over. Yeah, we've made up our mind. It's it. Yeah. And there's nothing That's why do. it was murdering me, though, because I knew for a minute. I was like, this is not going to be successful long term by any yeah. means. And she has expectations See, whole- that I, like legitimately cannot meet. Like, there's yeah. no way if I want to do what I'm, you know, trying to chase my dreams and do. This can't happen. Like, there's no way, you know? So I knew for mm-hmm. a while, and it was eating away at my soul. Right. Yeah. See, it's a surprise for them, but, like, but you've known for a minute. Yeah, Also, yeah, yeah. like, you're so loyal because you're a Taurus. You sure. stuck around for far longer than anybody else would. Because some people yeah. would be fucking out of there already. Yeah. Yeah. You know I, mean? yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Brad, he's just, like, he's just spilling my tea. Um yeah, so, like, I mean, we had, like, a lot of, like, one of the, the, the big things was is that I found out, like, the day before that he had, like, lied about his plans for Christmas. And so, like, I knew he was going home, but he said he was, like, flying home, but he was actually driving home. And, like, he was bringing, like, stuff up there like because his whole thing was like oh i'm flying and like my id was expired at the time so i couldn't fly but he was actually driving Mm -hmm. and so like i could have gone but he lied about that for like over a month because like he didn't want me to go and so like i'm just like uh like why you're like lying about this and like we found out like having like dinner with his friends and they were like oh like when you're home can you like drop this off to my folks house and I was just like, oh, like, are you going to be able to fit all of that in your carry on? And then he's just like there. And they're like, carry on. What are you talking about? He's driving up there. Man, and so ooh, stupid. Scandalous. He just got fucking caught Hello. out. Right. Like, yeah. um, like, did so you th- confront him right there? And you just held it in until you got into the car? No, I or was I, I like literally like got up from the table and I walked outside. And he's like, let's go. And I'm like, no, I'm not going. And uh, I was just like, you can go, but I'm going to have another drink. And then like, like, then I like I ended up talking to the wife of one of his friends. And the other thing was, is that I think that he like, so I think he was banging one of his best, his his male best friend. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, and so I asked the wife <laughs> the that. Plot yeah, so like, not because, like, I don't want you guys to think, like, I'm like a horrible person that I broke up with him like three days from Christmas, but like, there was a lot of reasons. And so um, that night I had asked his his best friend's wife, like, I was just like, listen, I think they might be fucking. And she's like, well, I've asked them that too uh, in a more joking tone. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and she was pregnant, <laughs> right? She's all pregnant. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, because it was like they went fishing and um, broke back mountain type of stuff. exactly, yeah. exactly. Oh. And so uh, they they came back with like poison ivy, but like <laughs> only th- on their dicks. <laughs> well, so the. <laughs> The Here's best the friend had Such the poison job. ivy on his ass, and my boyfriend oh. had the poison ivy in the back of his thighs. Oh, damn. Yeah. You yeah. break down the biomechanics of dude wait, butt how sex. Does, I'm sorry. Wait, so who had it on there? So yep. his best friend had it on his back and his ass. Okay. My right. boyfriend had it on the back of his thighs. Wait, the front yeah. of his thighs? The back of his thighs. Yeah. Oh. Like my so, like, if you're, like, squatting. Poison oh. ivy, my legs are in the air. Got it. Got and it. Getting pumped by yeah by my yeah. my best friend. Well, uh-huh. mm. you know, I don't know, girl. Like, and they took pictures of it too and sent it to each other and thought it was hilarious. Of the poison ivy. Oh, of them fucking is what I thought. I was oh, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. No, that, that would have been proof. Oh, that would have been real proof. That would have been like no, like, but small. like you're no. taking a you picture of your best friend's ass too. So yeah. many, so many context clues. Yeah. Mm. So, so many like, context clues. but like that, the the. I didn't learn that until the day before I found out that he was driving home for Christmas. And then it was just kind of like, you know something? Yeah, it's three days before Christmas, but fuck this. I got to go. Yeah. So, yeah. Girl, that's, I, mine was not nearly as dramatic as any of that. And I am so sorry you went through that. That sounds like a lot. I mean, it is, but. 
But you did you have a good time at New Year's that year, though? Okay. Did you have, did you turn up? Did you have fun anyways? Th- that New Year's, no. But this New Year's, yes. I hooked up with a 24-year this New Year's. Oh, uh, you were talking yeah. about that on the podcast. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it, was, it was pretty crazy. Um, what was it like to rob the cradle, girl? Tell me about it. The cradle was trying to rob me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, he was like, he was hot. He was like 6'5". He was like built. He was a personal mm. trainer. Like... Um, six five. That's just mm. such a good height. <laughs> yeah. That's like right. It's just like mm, scrumptious. <laughs> yeah. It's like, like mm. right? yeah. I love some corn fed. Wait, yeah. don't, wait, just don't like... be just because it's tall dick though. Just because no, it's actually, tall doesn't necessarily mean. Yeah, exactly. I have had some experiences with some very tall gentlemen in the same range, and it was just real average. And I was like, you know what? You're supposed to have an Arizona tea can here. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> no, for while real. You're just coming in with yeah. your average ass. I hooked up with seven. this basketball player that used to play overseas. He was like six ten, and we had the same size dick. Yeah. I'm five seven. It's like why do you? It's like you expect them to be giant everywhere because they're no, such a, like a not, huge. It's not. It's not proportional. In fact, sometimes those very small men. Are very yes. Very that's much some, oh, yeah. That's the tricky one. In yeah. It's like everyone wants to like turn down to like a short it's dude, a but it's like sometimes oh. you know the short the five like, four. Yeah, he's, bring, he's the coming five, four, through at me. Five, so like yeah. no, he's right, skinny like five four five. Like wait a oh, minute. Yeah, wait. He's just yeah, like yeah. like yeah. hitting your knees. You're like whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. He's low key packing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Like where the fuck did that eleven? It's like well you're not gonna be tall, but you'll be packing in other ways, honey. You'll be you'll be tall in your pants. It just looks like a baby's arm clutching a nectarine. You're like, you're oh like, my! <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't know. You where. sir. <laughs> it's like this is quite surprising. Oh. Um, How do you guys feel about uncircumcised dicks? I was just talking about that on stage. You got a warn. You got a warn. I don't really care, honestly. Like, you're like as madam, long before I remove my penis, exactly. I just no, need to here's let the you thing. Know. I'm just yes. excited to number one be in the bed with somebody number two um I, I don't really care like i'll just work with it i can make it work in other ways if i'm you know crafty you know what i mean and use some lube it's fine sure. it's fine i love both but i feel like i like the fact that they're like more sensitive yeah, yeah. you have yeah. more nerve endings yes. you have more nerve endings mm-hmm. and like i feel like just if you're throwing me, me a turtleneck you need to tell me so i know what to expect because other people are like whoa because like, then does the other way go in like if you're in europe you have to be like madame I have a helmet head dick. Like, beware. Like, you should you have like, know if you're in Europe, though. No, well, if, like, if, if I'm, like, mm-hmm. in Europe and I'm, like, fooling around with, a, like, a European dude, I'm going to expect that I'm going to see, like, a turtleneck. But, like, if I'm here and you're from here, then, like, that's quite surprising because I feel like that's, like, one in 40 dicks. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, are you talking about... My research about, well, does I don't not know. agree with that. I, I agree. Say, yeah. I, I feel I've like it's, more like, more... Because... It's New York, so there's like a lot more guys from like other countries. Yeah. And like you just kind of know, like okay, this guy is from Guatemala or something. Yeah, like I, I don't. But porn this... also conditions us to always seeing the circumcised dick. Like yeah, I think there are a lot more you like see the uncircumcised. Dick, yeah. you're like, oh. like then there are like they just look silly to me. I, I can't like. help it. Like I feel like it looks like a poorly rolled sleeping bag. You're like, yeah. <laughs> like what are we doing? <laughs> oh God, no. The worst is when it's soft though. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, like a then it's yeah. really like oh, it's too much you got all the yeah. extra foreskin over. You're like looking like what are yeah. you looking at? You like, you gotta, yeah, you gotta keep your maintenance on point. When you no, for it. real. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what that's actually more that I care about. As long as like it's like clean and tidy and <laughs> you know taken care of and groomed. Like I just don't, <laughs> I just don't really care. My, one, of my, one of my favorite <laughs> dicks in film. This is like I love dicks. Um, I'll, yeah, I'm a fan of dicks, so like I'm not really caring necessarily. I was gonna say what I was thinking. Okay, so okay. I was thinking about one of my favorite, um, like, <laughs> ant eaters sleeves <laughs> that you're describing <laughs> in in the history of film is Tom Hardy in Bronson. When I he's greased seen up this. and fighting the guards naked. <laughs> no, he has this I have dick not swinging. seen this. It's great. Everybody really, has, I have to look yes. that up. I thought you were gonna say Sex in the City, the first movie, where that one guy is in the shower and he turns around, his dick is just like, yeah, there, yeah. voluptuous, yeah. swinging, uncut mm-hmm. Peter. Yeah, uh, well, I also agree. That's also great. I just like it because it's like on Tom Hardy mostly. You know what I mean? Well, like, yeah, that's yeah. those are faux dicks. There's mad faux dicks in Hollywood. For real? Yeah. 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 That might which be is, true. Which yeah. I was disappointed. I, felt, I was like, wait, Seth Rogen doesn't have a tremendous penis? Like, Because there's once, I forget what movie it is, like Knocked Up or something, but you're just like, whoa. 
Like that's outlandishly large, sir. Oh no, that, you dick. might. Yeah. But also, like, there's, there's something you... about like a kind of chubby guy like his size. That dick, I could imagine him having that dick. I've seen, I've experienced. Yeah, like that. Jewish dudes with this voice, like have. Yeah, they have like a oh, lot of testosterone. That's and a massive. Su- yeah, <laughs> that's they don't surprise. have lots of testosterone. They just have massive. No, I, yeah. Well, yeah. The, deeper the, their, the deeper their voice, though, says they have more testosterone, and how balding they are also says yeah, how much testosterone like, they have. Guys that are bald are allegedly ha- higher to be rates a, of like testosterone. testosterone. And I think yeah. they're just. <laughs> angry. I think they're just angrier at life. Well, I mean, I'm not like no. But like, I'm not really into like bald guys because I just feel like it's like, how did this big baby get in here? Like, it's just, I don't know. I don't. I am bald by choice. (laughs) 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 I shave my head every day. Yeah. Like, I just, I don't know. Because like bald guys just look like, like giant toddlers. I don't know. I'm not into them. You know what? Fine. We're, I'm, we're not looking for the same things, anyways. I, I, <laughs> I, Actually, I know. We honey. are looking for the same thing. I, uh, men, <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, not the same man, hopefully. But you can have my ex if you want him. Uh, <laughs> 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 so, um, Madison, like, mm-hmm. do you like watch a lot of like movies or documentaries about serial killers? No, I do a lot of reading about them and okay. like listening to like books on tape because uh, I'm that old. Audio books, I meant. Sorry, I'm very young. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I listen to a lot of audio books and then also like obviously hella like true crime podcasts. Um, my favorite mm-hmm. one being, of course, Case File. Shout out. Please listen to it if you like true crime. It's very spooky and it's done by quote unquote anonymous. Anyways, I love true crime. Right now I'm reading a uh, listening to a book about the Golden State Killer. Okay. That's like Ooh. really fucking good. Ooh. So now the Golden State Killer was uh, like in Al- like in California. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, was that like the the one that was like a, like a like highways or a river or something or no? That's you're thinking about the Green River yes, Killer. There yes. was also an I five Killer. Uh, okay. Hit Ooh, in yeah. Northern California, but okay. the Green River Killer, I think, is who you're referring to. Okay. In Seattle. So now who is this 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 Golden State? <laughs> okay, so the Golden State Killer is a guy who's never been caught, and he like hit at a time where like DNA wasn't around and all of the like jurisdictions in California and all over the country weren't speaking to each other. So if it happened in this county, if it happened in Orange County, the, um, you know, Costa Corva, however you say it, county wouldn't be, Sacramento County wouldn't be speaking to them about, um, hey, we have this repeat. It's He started out as a rapist who escalated. He had like 50 cases. He would like stalk the people. He would go to their houses, check all their doors and windows, leave one open for himself, move shit around a little bit. Uh, and then come in later when the husband wasn't there in some cases and like brutally um, assault the women. And then in other times he would uh, tie up the husband and be like, OK, lay on your back. I'm going to put this teacup and saucer on your back, tie you up and I'm going to rape your wife in the next room. If I hear the teacup rattle, I'm going to kill you both. Like Ooh. very oh, shit. crazy shit. Um, but he would also he was just very flagrant and never got caught and stalked the fuck out of his victims even after like years later like he would call them like twenty years later and be like, "Do you remember when we played?" Like, oh god, like oh, shit! And this Damn. dude is like somewhere between fifty and seventy five years old, and uh, we don't know if he's he will ever still be out caught. There and we but don't know. He's just like this crazy fucking serial killer. He escalated from the rapes to murder right. and killed like twenty people and raped like fifty women or. Something. Jesus like Christ. So, yeah. So reading that right now, <laughs> can't read it when I'm walking sure, around the streets of New York. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I would never sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I read Case Files had this like five part series on them and I, on him. And I was like obsessed with that. And then this book just came out by uh, Michelle McNamara. Um, Patton Oswalt's wife, uh, dead wife. Oh, uh, she's deceased. Deceased, deceased wife. Deceased. Um, deceased wife. But it's it's brilliant. It's great. I am see Scorpio connection. Yeah, I love dark shit with like that, like the same shit. Yes. Have you watched the ID channel? Of course. Like, oh my god. Of Obsessed. course. Of you course. See the Cecil Hotel. Oh yes. Okay. Girl. That's in L.A. Do you want to talk about? Oh, right. It? Yeah. Ooh. 
I had talked about this on, on the show before. There's like a hotel. Okay, so tell us about the Cecil Hotel. So the Cecil Hotel is now called the Stay on May. It may. It's still open. Yes. Oh shit! It's called. They changed the name. They redecorated it. It is called the Stay on Main. The rooms are in downtown LA. And you're like, oh, it's so cheap, and it's in downtown. It is. Do oh. not stay in that fucking possessed no. devil fucking compartment of a hotel. I want to stay there immediately. <laughs> Richard Ramirez used to live there. Richard Ramirez killer. was the I five killer. No, right? he was no. the Night Stalker. He was the Night Stalker. Uh, he huh. was like killing so many people, like, and had blood on him, and would walk through the whole the hotel hallways with his victim's blood, like, on his body still. Yeah, and no one would fucking bat an eyelash. Yeah, because it was like the early like eighties or the yeah. late eighties, and like people were on drugs, and it was like a drug yeah. Down, hotel. Downtown yeah. LA only recently started getting somewhat better, where you could go there and hang out. No, but. listen, as of recently as like what two thousand fifteen, mm-hmm. there was a girl that went missing in the hotel. Her body was found in the water cooler that was above the hotel yeah. because people were saying that the water tasted funny and it was coming out funny colors. Her body was there for like over a month. Decomposing. Mm. And the video and from, showering in that shit. The fucking video from yeah, the see. like hotel elevator mm-hmm. like shows her like either talking to a spirit or a demonic presence Something or the person her. who was fucking killing her where she was like running from them and like like no 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 you, you don't hear the audio but you could see you her being like no 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 waving her for sure the human but, like, you you don't see murder, the person you don't that see she's the talking. person. You don't see the no, entity that she's talking to. But you know that she's to. talking to somebody and something's like after her and she's like hiding from it. She's going like this. It's very fucking freaky. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Do not stay at what is, what is it it's called? It's called now? the Stay the on stay Main. The Stay on Main. The Stay on Main. I could. My homegirl came from Malta and she was like, oh, yeah, girl. Stay. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I went in and like picked her up and I was like, Bitch! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> what you didn't doing? leave immediately. <laughs> yeah, I was like, literally come and, I would rather you come and stay with me than stay at that place, but like, sage your ass before you fucking come in the house. <laughs> no! I'm not going to have it. <laughs> they've had multiple serial killers stay there. Yeah. Multiple. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, like, wonder, I only know of Richard Ramirez. Richard was... Ramirez was there, but then there was another serial killer oh. that was from Switzerland, and he came oh. and was like doing research with the LAPD about Richard Ramirez, but was also killing prostitutes what? while he was doing it. Just to, to like yes. do serious Just research. He's like a character actor. Just be in Richard Ramirez's room. He's Run. like, well, that well if I'm wow. going to be in Rome, you know? <laughs> He's like the Daniel Day-Lewis of investigators. But you yeah. know what I love? Like, oh. when Richard Ramirez was finally caught, like, he, they had a crazy manhunt for him. They had his photo out and so everything So now what like did that. Richard Ramirez do exactly? He was the night stalker. He would, like, kill, like, anybody. He, some people were like, he was only attacking yellow houses. And so everyone with the yellow house, like, changed the color, color of the, of the house. house. Um, he would, like, basically stalk people and then, like, uh, you know, peeping Tom, then, like, enter their house. And, like, he would kill and rape children, kill and rape women, kill and he, rape men. He didn't care. Everything. He, he had, like, no demographic. Yeah. Like everybody, there was like a summer of what was like 92 or something mm-hmm. like that when like that whole summer he was just killing people like every like two or three days. Jeez. It was all over the news. Like, like one and it summer was, it was very And it was intense. all over LA County. Like yeah. there was no place that was like he was just targeting. It would, could be like way up north, like 15 miles away down yeah. south. Like, and just Ooh. anybody. This is like serial killers like kind of like always freak me out and it's something that I'm worried about with like dating with apps. Don't because honestly they're not that common. You're more likely to just killed by somebody who like you've actually already fucked. Like women are more likely to die by intimate partners than we are like some random on well, the street. Well that's why I'm you'll worried. know his name and his oh. place of uh, business. That's true. This just is like why you I worry about <laughs> like like dating apps because I feel like like one like intimate partners are more likely to kill you yeah. and then also you're gonna probably meet a serial killer on a dating app. And there's then, such like, a small there's like only ever like 40 or 50 active in the United the entire United States of America at any you given time. You have no idea what my luck is. Like, <laughs> I mean, but no what, what 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 she's saying is though that like not to say that people don't kill because they do. Yeah. But like the likelihood that of like somebody murder. of a serial murder getting you is like less likely than like your ex-boyfriend stalking you and then coming and killing you. Yeah, but he would only kill you and then be Guys, whatever that's... happened to serial killers, you know? Um, well, they get caught really quick. There was this really crazy Wait. one down in um, Tampa, <laughs> Tampa, uh, or, or last year, who was, he was just this guy, and everyone had, like, it's crazy, the technology is crazy. Okay, so this guy. Wait, he, but pause, <laughs> before you, you were talking about Richard Ramirez <gasps> for a second, we forgot to tell how he got caught. Oh, like, sorry. That oh, shit was bitch, fucking it was epic. Fuck it, 
fuck? Okay, first of all, shout out to Chicano. Just all my Chicano people, just fucking really just out they here being. They were not being, playing They were not. Games. He went to, he was in East Los, which is East Los Angeles, which is a primarily like Latino neighborhood. Hood um, as fuck. It's just so hood. It's like just, ugh, just great. Um, so like they can't gentrify the neighborhood because they run anybody out. Like it was never. It's right next to downtown LA. It's, it's still never, hood as fuck. Like it's so hood. It's and this so is real. like early '90s hood as fuck. Yeah. So like okay, he's like. So we're talking like Crips blood. So like yes. right okay. after like the Rodney King riots and all that shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. You gotta be a serial right. killer, Holmes. Right. We're giving. Right. We're giving <laughs> well, maybe with that less right. r- racist right. accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're giving you some accurate. context right now. <laughs> so. So he's walking down the street, um, and like somebody's like, "Hey, ain't you that?" Dude in the fucking paper. Because his paper just the, the paper papers, came out with just like his, his face photo. on it. And so they right. figured out who he was. They're showing his photo. He fucking starts taking off running. The dude who sees him like, hey, there's that fucking guy who kills. And the whole fucking neighborhood is shouting at him, chasing him, getting in punches, getting in licks. They whooped the shit out of they him. They kicked his ass to the point where it was a whole mob of people who like fucking descended on him and like stopped him. He was like, he told the police, please get me out of here or else <laughs> this group of people are going to kill me. Like he was scared for his life. That's how much like drama it was. Dude, he was like all bandaged up like in the pictures like with him yes. in the courtroom and shit. Like he's in the courtroom like. Yeah. Because they fucked him up. They fucked him up. That's and honestly, dope. like, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> so bizarre. Like, the whole neighborhood got together. We're like, uh-uh, Stop motherfucker. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whatever that is, nigga, we stopping it right <laughs> now. He's like, yeah, do this shit up in here. Sorry, I don't mean to, like, turn this into this podcast. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like, like, murderers. <laughs> no, no, it's no. totally fine. But it is very scary being a woman, like, in terms of, like, I mean, I, I, my work situation is that I'm often alone in a building uh, with strange men coming in and out of it all the time. Mm. Um, and so, like, I, I'm i hyper vigilant about my, like, personal safety. Like, I, I just am, like, checking doors and locks, making sure I'm not being followed by anybody. I look around my shoulder all the time. I have my locations on my phone so my mom will know where I am. Like, I'm, I'm hyper vigilant about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You have to it's be. it's scary. Yeah. You totally have to be. Um, you know, cause like, that's like the other thing too, is that like, it always freaks me out with the, like the online dating is that like, um, serial killers are almost like n- 95% more likely to kill within their own race. Uh-huh. And so like, and I worry about like online dating, like, it's just like, ah, like, I, I'm, I, I, I don't know. I feel Do like. Do you date black men? Only if I meet them in person. Ooh, okay. W- well, wait a minute. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. So, you so you'll meet a white man in, in oh, person? From offline. 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 But you won't meet a black man from offline. Because they are more likely, if they were a serial killer, they're more likely to kill I me. I just want to also let you know wait. that per the FBI, wait a minute, let me just unpack something really quick. Let's so per educate. the FBI, I just read this like 30 page, doc. I'm sorry, I also write about true crime, so it's like oh, dumb. Um, so I, I read this thing from the FBI, like it, they have a whole, I'll send you the PDF about serial killers and like who they are. The, it's not that there's more white serial killers there's serial killers of every race and every gender right. but depending except for like the we'll, we can talk about the women stuff later but like in terms of like male in the race because it's like definite to the population so if there's like a hundred white men and 20 of them are serial killers you know the it, <sighs> I'm not explaining this right, but like basically black black men are like a lower percentage of the population. And so their actual numbers of being serial murderers are small. So it's right. But they're they're, uh, And I get it because like my dad was uh, like NYPD for like 30 years. And so like I'm sorry. Yeah. It explains a lot lot about me. Um, But like so I and I understand that like uh, as far as the population goes, yes, like black male serial killers to everyone. (laughs) No, it made it made sense to me. But like the the problem for me is though is that although like the 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 number of black male serial killers will be lower than the number of white male serial killers, the probability of a black male serial killer killing me is higher than the probability of a white male serial killer killing me. One that I'm not a prostitute. Two, I am not. Right, you're white. not from a high. You're but you're not from a high risk um, community. Are you racially profiling right. based on not getting murdered? Exactly. <laughs> 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 Like, honestly, though, like, <laughs> truly though, like they usually, you know, I doubt that you are from a high risk 
community in I'm this regard. I'm just tripping about you. how much black dick you missed out on. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it can could I just possibly say, be a serial killer. Say, you were like swiping them to the left. Like, <laughs> a guy girl, who I've no. like, hooked up with and like have dated for on and off for like the last like four or five years is a uh, black surgeon who I met on Tinder. Just saying. Just saying. But he's diff- not the one moving out of your like apartment. Is he a surgeon no. or is that his porn name? No, he's a surgeon. <laughs> like the surgeon. Now, if he was the one moving <laughs> the out of your apartment, <laughs> you might have convinced him. <laughs> he gets in those guts. God, you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now, uh, Madison, are you lactose intolerant? I am. Me are too. You guys lactose intolerant? Cheers. No. <sighs> I, I used to be and it went away. As fuck. I want that to go ha- away. It, it just it did. Yeah. It went away as a child. I'm sorry. Like that's what happened. Oh when I was no, a child. mine happened to me as an adult. And it's okay, same. see, it's reverse. Yeah, like, like literally the kid. day I turned 30, it's like you can't eat ice cream. That happened. <laughs> I like be, I, I turned like 28 and I couldn't fucking eat. I can't eat ice. I still fuck with cheese though. Don't get it twisted. Like no, I'm I mean, not. I, do. Ooh, I, yeah. I will just like deal with the like fat. I'm the fastest shit in the West. I don't care. Like I'm gonna just fucking eat cheese because it's. It's great, mm. but I, I had to give up ice cream. Ice cream is something I can never have. Ever I can't again. do ice cream. It makes Ooh. me. It makes my pudding, stomach cramp. Like, like really custard. Bad. I can't do any of that. Shit. I did eat banana pudding like earlier today, and I will pay for it later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah. like Are you, you getting like a bubble gut? Fastest shit in the West. Banana pudding <laughs> <You're like, laughs> is my favorite. Big talking brewskis. Yeah, she's the fastest. We got shit in the, the fastest shit in the West. West. <laughs> uh-huh. this yeah, side now we got a lot. That's my favorite banana pudding. That's what my mommy makes me. It's yeah, so good. I make a really nice one with like layers of like strawberry and cream oh. and cookies and stuff. Ugh, it's so good. Yeah, no, I, ca- I, I can't do any of that stuff. It's the like, cream and the ice cream, I'm like done. I can do like a little like whipped cream on a coffee or some small like, amount. Yeah, yeah, but like I, ice cream, I don't understand what it is about ice cream specifically that it's like yeah. 10 minutes after I eat it, I start getting the bubble guts and then I just start like farting like a fucking truck driver mm-hmm. in like long haul. It's just like, <laughs> oh. like it's horrible. What an image, by the way, also. Thank like, you. Ah. <laughs> But also then, do you not just have, like, the wicked... I have, like, wicked black Pain. shits after that. It's just, like, they're, oh. like, everywhere and Do you dark look at the hell. color of your shit? Of course yeah. I do. Like, yeah. and the consistency? Yeah, she, like, she, like, inspects the paper every time. I mean, I oh, do. Yeah, I do yeah, want to, yeah, like, know because it. it says oh, a lot about your health. <laughs> I always am Because a black shit is supposed to mean, like, there's kind of, like, blood in your stool. And that's, yeah. like, an indicator of a bad... Like, the perfect shit supposed is to be supposed to be, cream. like... Like S shaped, and it's supposed to be like almost like a caramel brown. Oh, damn! Yeah, maybe I learned something new today, guys. Like that, Doctor <laughs> Oz told me a lot about damn, my poo. What about, happens like, if it comes shit. out like mud? <laughs> <laughs> well, like just like <laughs> stop, <laughs> like <laughs> cheese, that's like why. splat, splat, splat. <laughs> Yeah, it yeah. Like yeah a double then. helix. It just looks like DNA. Like that's how it comes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. it's crazy. <laughs> like the ladder is connected. It's crazy. Yeah. My poop what? looks like an M.C. Escher painting. Well, you could say oh, that wow. that looks almost like, almost cone like. Yeah, because you could say it's yeah. cone like your intestines. Yeah, it sounds like a really confusing pickup line. Like, damn girl, I got that conical doo doo. So what you know about this poo poo? Let me see. That's like, oh my god. Um, it's like, oh my god, you have the perfect amount of fiber and water in your <laughs> diet. <laughs> She's like, did you just drink kombucha? <laughs> 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 what? Oh, Homemade so girl, you don't know. <laughs> eats quinoa, I love it. <laughs> um, so now, Madison, what are your th- your thoughts about um weaves? Weaves. Okay, so I'm just getting into the weave game. Um, I I'm not currently wearing one, but I I just got into like buns and like little like ponytails and stuff like that. I have been clowned endlessly <laughs> <laughs> for not matching my textures, and I was just gonna put it to the group. Do you personally ever notice when somebody's natural hair texture and weave don't match? Yes, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> three demographics the gay guy no. white guy <laughs> yeah you got the actual black chick i know we so all like notice. i don't actually. do like i don't do like the like the ponytail thing if i'm gonna get a weave i do like a full on like um like a sewing closure uh-huh. sewing because like 
you, like it's so hard to like find like like a ponytail or a bun that's mm-hmm. gonna like match your texture. Yeah. But like, yeah, no, like I totally notice. Like, I'm not. And not like a. I'm just saying, like a little bit. Like, do you notice? Uh, like, if it's like egregious, like you know, you have like fucking a Z curl even the and like color a fucking. It's like gonna like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. It's just like the color too, because like it depends on what you're doing too. Like, are you doing like a sew in? Are you doing just like a piece? Like, sure. If you're like, trying to like blend with like natural hair, you know what I mean, like with your actual hair. So either doing like a piece or, like again, having a ponytail or a bun or something like that. Yeah, I just can't even wrap my head around that, yo. I just have like Playmobil hair, like my shit. Just <laughs> like, like, if I just let it grow, I just look like a squire. Like it just, like, <laughs> I can just grow straight down. So yeah. Now, like, um, cause. Even, like, because I used to leave some of it out, and, like, before I started doing, like, full clothes, like, this is, like, before I went, like, natural, mm-hmm. and I had, like, a uh, a perm, and so, like, I would leave, like, the front out, and, I mean, you still can, like, tell, like, colors different, textures different. Now, I just do, like, a full, if I'm going to do it, I just do, like, a closure with, like, a full sew-in. Mm-hmm. Um, can you explain to everybody what a closure is for, like, oh, yeah. nine? So, a, a, a closure is an apparatus that... It looks um, like a yarmulke, kind yeah, of. Yeah, it kind of looks like, like a hairy hair, yarmulke. Yeah, coming out of it. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> and they they sew a this hairy yarmulke? Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. the best way I could describe it. Really. They sew that into your hair, and then like the, it, it, so you can like do a part or something, so um. it looks more natural. So it looks like you're seeing scalp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and so like I'll do that. I actually I haven't used it yet. Like I bought it like months ago, and I just haven't had the time to like go to like my hairdresser. But I have like a three sixty closure. Oh wow! And so like um. Like that, you can like do like a full on bun with and a ponytail and like none of your real hair is showing. Yeah. Um, which you know, like I, I'll do it someday. I just I like literally. You got a birthday not. coming. Up. What about a? Do you do you like use lace fronts or anything like that? Have you ever? I like 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 a a, a wig or yeah, like a wig. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Like I I haven't done them just because they're like so expensive and it's so just, expensive. They're so expensive. Do you ever wear what is no no. <laughs> he's like, he's no, like no no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> let me stop you there I'm, t- I'm not the type of gay <laughs> <laughs> I want to get like anime character hair just for a little while you know like shave all my shit and do like frosted tips slash blue hair and just like spiky I won't really do it but I've always had the desire to be an anime character for like at least 24 hours oh is that like uh, what is that Halloween that, yeah. that anime thing it's not a Pokemon it's like uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're trying so hard to I know I, I don't, there's the one that has man, which is it it's it's got the blue Akira? hair I don't know I'm just no. saying words. anime ever <laughs> no I can't remember it's name Soul it's, Eater no I don't know I don't I'll remember it later kind of yeah stuff. weaves are crazy but I know what you're talking about first you time I saw one. a black girl take her weave out it was like in Scooby Doo when they ripped the villain's mask off <laughs> you're like what like, I was just absolutely bewildered. It was very confusing to me. That's probably a wig. Because, like, yeah, a weave a is oh, so nasty. Weave. No, wait. I was going to say, because, like, a weave it's takes so like, a long time to take off. Oh, no. It was just some shit. Just... Oh, that's, oh, that's a, a wig. wig. Okay, it's pronounced wig. No, a weave, you would be like, <laughs> she's going to be like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you talking about? All right, great. Yeah. But, but watching now, TV. you could have seen a girl take out her clip in extensions. White girls yeah. are really a fan of it. It really oh, just yeah, gives yeah. them a cool... Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw a white girl with a fucking fake dread extension, and I threw up my mouth. I was like, what yeah. are we doing? She was like from Spain too, like España. She was like a no. super. Like, I don't feel like <laughs> they always do that. They always have one dread. If they're from Spain and they're like kind of hippies, they only have one. one yeah, and it's like purple or dread. pink or something. It's like, shave it. You're disgusting. Yeah. How do you feel about white girls wearing weave? I don't feel like it's anything wrong with it if they want to Like a clip in? Like white like girls wearing clip or ins or sew ins or braids. No, I mean they should get this hair damage too. You know I, what I mean? Like I have get, more I, of a problem with braids. I have a problem with braids. Braids <laughs> Because also like let's just be honest about wigs, like the French people invented them if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And they're white yeah. as fuck. So like that's one thing. You wanna wear wigs, you wanna have like something to like bump up your hair, or whatever. Also, full disclosure, my mom is white. Um, so I'm pro white ladies. All saying that being said, don't braid your hair. That's really some like to put like actual like weave what about in white girl dreads. Disgusting. Like any, any also, see, I'm now. Um, I have, I don't tell like you, girl faux dreads. You didn't really grow them. You just like. I have a you know, problem yeah. with a faux dread. I don't have a problem with real dreads. And my my explanation is this: is that any human being that 
exists. If you don't comb or brush your hair, your hair will naturally dread. That is the natural state of hair if it's unkept. So my feeling It'll is- It'll mat. Well, it won't dread to dre- for well, for white people depends. they dread they have to go through. Not if a you lot. look like a Lannister, yeah. Like if you have this fucking, like, you have to Swedish go through a lot of fucking shit. Yeah, it's, work to make your. It, hair you have to live in like Jumanji this. for like three years there's, to have dreads. Like I can't remember the name the of it, but there's like literally like a coffee book about dreads, and it's it's like there there is like the um the, there are dreads that are like matted that are or like a certain kind. But like the natural course of hair, would, like if we none of us uh, combed, brushed, had any of that shit going on, all of our hair would be dreaded, matted, be matted. but it dreaded in some capacity. Um, and so, like, I don't have a problem with that. Faux dreads, I feel like, is the same with braids. But like, if you like naturally, what's wrong with braids? I don't know. I, I I think that you know when you're a kid, a black, a little black girl who makes fun of, who's been made fun of for wearing Having them. Braids, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't. I I mean, there's this issue of like you didn't you know, earn those braids. You didn't earn them. Also, you can't dip in and out of my culture just because it suits you for fashion. It's not fashion. It's actually my life. Um, and I have to wear braids in the summer or something like that so that I can like protect my hair. So I'm not doing it for fashion or anything like that. It's actually practical to my like. Hair. Hair, hair health um and also it's it's just like again you know it's one of those things that with like it's same thing with fake tan same thing with like lip injections and butt injections everybody wants to be you know that famous quote everyone wants to be a nigga but don't nobody want to be a nigga you know what i mean yeah. they want to take what's convenient about our appearance about our culture and use it for themselves but not actually have the ex- the lived experience of that and so for me that's you know that, that's upsetting and um because in five years, it's Kardashians are probably going to take all their little butt implants out and just go back to being the regular Middle Eastern women that they are. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Middle Eastern Ooh. women can have booties. Yeah, but not the Kardashians. Not, no, they not pay like for cyborg. All of them. Yeah, they're, yeah, not, they're not like, like, they're, they're they're not like Egyptians. It's not even like, a, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, stop, cyborg baby, doing, booties. Yeah, cyborg yeah. booties. Yeah, that's so, just like straight really silicone. I don't even know how they get through like airport security. They have so much shit going on. In the, He's just dumb you know? though. It looks stupid. They, to me. yeah, I'm they like, don't. You look don't like even look like a real human. Like, what the fuck are you like? Yeah, they I look total plastic. My favorite thing about anytime Kim Kardashian posts a selfie of like her ass, somebody in the comics always go, "Your thighs are gross," <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, because her thighs don't match her ass. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not for the body shaving, but also, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, like, I get yeah, it. Bitch, some gross ass. Thighs. You know when you have like, <laughs> no, I mean like, you know, you can't have a 52 inch ass and then like thighs that are like 20 inches, 19 at the top. They don't meet. It's like that's not if you have a butt have like that naturally, thighs, like yeah. you usually have thighs to yeah. support that ass. You know what I mean? So yeah, no, you're special. right. Did I just dip into a butt? I'm sorry, I've had two no. beers. No, yeah. I hate, yeah. I hate, yeah. I hate we can talk about butt earlier. butts for. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, we can talk about butts. butts. What kind of butts do you like? Oh, yeah, firm football player butts. Okay, <laughs> like you know, uh, just like, like a, a perfect, nice, like a nice ass with like that's hairy with a, some dimples. You like on the a side. hairy booty? Hell yeah! Uh. You know that shit feels like like when you're like pumping a guy from behind. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Said, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Go little fur. Uh, yeah. Little fur. Go. I mean, hey, yeah. that's oh. clearly a homosexual. Hair for the pushing. Dude, you what know, kind of butt I do guess. you like? Uh, I like a wide range of butts. I prefer a thick booty. I prefer like a curvaceous, you know, like the the hourglass booty steez. But I can. If you have a little booty, but it's nice, I like the composition you know of it. That's you're fine. You're here to little I, I feel like, you know, as somebody who has a big butt, I'm like, you know, fine. You know, I'm, I'm for that, too. I'm pro big butts. But also, like, shout out to little booties. I feel yeah. like little booties haven't gotten any play in the last no play. five years. Well, the years. lady I'm seeing now will be like, she's like, you know, doesn't think she has, like, a, a magnificent posterior region, if you will. But I'm like, you're five foot eleven and sensationally gorgeous and your butt is still big you're five foot eleven you know what i mean like it's not like even if it's like she thinks it's proportionally little or whatever like it everything is still wonderful Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know what i mean i have zero qualms of it like it's magnificent so shout out i like a i like a hard round booty on a guy like you know like like i want to bounce a quarter (laughs) (laughs) yeah like i I don't like soft like booties on guys like i like a soft booty on myself but i don't like a soft booty on a dude what about a gotcha. flabby booty oh, flabby booty? Like oh it's like a flat 
booty mm-hmm. they don't really have a booty no. I mean, again, but what if you're their ten inches? Little, they're ten, to, ten inches in the yeah. front, but like no. All that booty mint just w- booty mint meat just travel to the front of them. <laughs> booty mints. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. I mean, I'm I'm pro. I'm again. I'm pro a little booty on a guy. Um. I think like yeah, I have a sad little butt. I I don't mind to like <laughs> strong but sad. If you're like have something <laughs> at least to like cup. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't I'm care what it is. I just want to at least like have something, something to, to be able to. to and it. don't yeah. be weird about me putting my hand on your ass cheek. Also, yeah. <laughs> like so I was many. Gonna yeah. say they start right. clenching up and shit. It's, like, it's just like I'm not, not trying to put it. Also, in the you don't sinker. need to like make it like firm for me. I know what your ass looks like. That's just a natural thing. If he's a real straight guy, he's gonna naturally like clench it up. I feel like. If you relax you, a little bit, you need to be scared. N- no, he was a clincher. He, he was, was a grade A clincher. Hmm. Yeah. Which you? That's how you know he was a top. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um. So you guys, this has been awesome, but like we're gonna have to take a quick break before we start our next segment. Uh, before we go, uh, just tell everybody where can they see you next? Where can they follow you on social media? Um, I will start with you, Tate. Uh, Tate Winston, T A I T, like taint without the N. Winston, like the cigarette, W I N S T O N. Uh, you can find me there on Instagram and Facebook, and you can come see me at Broadway Comedy Club at 6 p.m. on the 31st. You can come see me at Nabe in Harlem uh, this Sunday, or you can come catch me at the Grizzly Pear, Greenwich Village Comedy Club uh, tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, come through. Awesome. Madison. Uh, you can find me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to pull up my calendar. Uh, you can find me um, uh, at Madison Shepherd on Twitter, at Madison underscore Shepherd on IG. I have some LA dates next week that I don't remember, and I can't pull up my calendar. So you can just check out my website, themadisonshepherd.com, and that's S H E P E A R D uh, for more info. Awesome, you guys. So uh, this has been uh, Big Talk and Brewskies, and we will be right back. Yay.
Yeah, big talking brewskis. Marissa Smith is who you see. What a cool the combo in here. Crack the cold while we're on the air. Big talking brewskis. Marissa Smith is who you see. What a cool the combo in here. Crack the cold while we're on the air. Kicking back, having a few beers, we're chatting. Pull up your chair, we're all relaxing. Any subject, we never dismiss. Big talking brewskis with Marissa Smith. Comedy, sex, relationships, more. Any subject, we got it in store. Big talking brewskis is coming in live. Crack when no bin, Marissa has arrived. Hey guys, this is Big Talking Brewskies. I'm Marissa Smith. I've got Rodna Daniels with me. Talking Brewskies time. I've got James Pontillo with me. What's going on? Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for coming, James. No, no problem. Now, our next guest has been on before, and we're welcoming her back. But I always feel like I always fuck up your first name. Lanae. No, Lanai. Linnea. Linnea. You got it right the first time. Okay. <laughs> you know what fucks me up is your accent. The, the the accent on the name, I'm just like, ah. I feel like the spelling of it, too, is like. No, I, th- I, I mean, I thought, but, like, I thought I was, like, supposed to, like, roll something because of the accent. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. I, was just, I wasn't sure you, like, kind of dragged it out a little bit, and I was like, I don't. What, is okay. It, Linnea de Priest, you guys. Linnea de Priest. Yes. Linnea de Priest. Uh, I'm so, so excited to be back. Thank you for coming yes. back, Lene. Yes. So, uh, how was your week? <clears throat> mm-hmm. It was a week. <laughs> it was a week. It was a it week. It was a week. Yeah. 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 I, uh, uh, I have this. It's not even my client. It's like my boss can't get along with this client who, li- who's, their office is out in Jamaica, Queens. Mm. So, Ooh. yeah, once every other week now I have to go from my boss's office, which is in Midtown, all the way out to Jamaica. To Jamaica? And they Ooh. can't get along. So it's like, they're that both constantly rough. talking shit about each other. It's so awkward. Yo, for anybody that does not live in New York, anytime you say, somebody says they have to go to Jamaica, it's, that yeah. is it's rough. not like, yeah. it is rough. Yeah. It that sounds like Jamaica, Jamaica, That's and it feels opposite. like yeah. Jamaica, yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. And it was the opposite. It's well, the landscape's a little different, though. It's like, right, uh, it, but it's, there's it's no so palm trees in Jamaica. There's no Queens. palm trees, it and it's far as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so far. The end of the line. Oh, it's yeah. so far. <laughs> it's really far. She was like, "Take the Long Island Railroad home." It's like I don't live off the Long Island Railroad. This does I not don't... help me at <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> do the Long Island Railroad. I've never even done the Long Island Railroad. I would right. know how to do it. Like, and I have to ask questions. Exactly. I think the closest I've gotten to it was uh, what was that book? Uh, uh, the Girl on the Train. Or whatever. Oh, right. yeah. Train. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, that, that book's Such about the movie. Long Island Railroad, actually. Yeah. Is it? Okay. No. I, just, I, mean, uh, <laughs> okay. I think it takes place in Britain, that book or something. I no, no. I no. Like, well, the, no, no, the, no, movie a, the movie is, is like, I believe the... Uh, Harlem Met- line. Oh, Metro it doesn't have Metro North. Yeah. Oh, all right. What am so I? Yeah, maybe I'm thinking about. But then I was pissed off because I was looking at the stations and I, and they had like the wrong train on those stations oh. and I'm like, you know, like people that take the Metro North is, are watching this film. This is not continuity. This is not the right train for these stations. Yeah. Unless you're BT that you Dubs. Don't know. You don't know any better. Yeah, I was exactly. like, oh, yeah, that's, oh, you can drink on these trains. Okay. It's like, that True. is only in Connecticut, you assholes. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was cheaper to film there. <laughs> 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 okay. We're going to pretend it's New York. Nobody's going to know. It's like, I know, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I take both never, lines quite frequently. I've never been to Connecticut. I still haven't gone. Don't go. Oh, I there's know. no reason. Like, yeah, yeah okay, there's great. really, there's no reason. I, I go there Monday through Friday. There's no Oof. reason Wow. You thought you had a bad commute. (laughs) I know. See, that's the whole thing. I just moved, like, back to Manhattan. Like, I just moved uptown. And, yeah, like, I love it. But, like, I was thinking, like, when is the next time I'm going to leave Manhattan? Like, you won't. You shouldn't. You're going to refuse. There's no reason. I just went and visited my friend in Brooklyn. You know what's funny, though? How often do your friends from Brooklyn come uptown? But they'll always be like, oh, come to Brooklyn's not that far. But it's like, I never see you in Harlem. Hello. I never see you in Harlem. Right. (laughs) If it has to cross a bridge, I'm not going. You know? So, James, how was your week? Good. Everything was good. Uh, You know, happy to be here. It's a good way to end the week. Let me me just... uh, 
we say that. Yeah, sure. okay. it's 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 cathartic. It's it is, yeah. No, it's a very uh, exciting way to end the week. Yeah, it's 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 awesome. Um, so now, do you have any upcoming roasts? You're 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 part of no, that. No, not. Team. I am taking uh, two months off to just do stand up. Focus on because it takes a it takes a lot away from stand up. You know, because you're writing the for something totally different, and it's just so much just writing back and forth and. So I didn't just take off till like May and really try to get my sets good, you know. So now, okay. but yeah, me and uh, Dave kind of got me into it. Uh, Dave Cyrus pulled me in, and now I'm hooked on it. And uh, on roasting. Yeah, yeah. So who was your last roast with? It was at New York Comedy Club last Thursday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, how do you know Dan Wicks? I don't know him now. Yeah, it was really good. It was. Uh, do you know Yamanika Sanders? Yeah, she was yes. one of the judges. Oh, oh she's awesome. awesome! I love her. She's a great yeah. comic. She's a great judge. I mean, she's just funny. She keeps it. She just keeps it great. Uh, Mike Cannon was one of the other mm. judges. They're both. They just. Work yeah, great. I love them both. Yeah, they work great together. Yamanika is probably my favorite judge, though. She's hysterical. She's, yeah, she's, she's so funny. Yeah. yeah, I, I was. I was lucky her enough. Instagram, but I. I abs- I'm such a fan. She's on yeah. Comedy Central. I think she had a half hour on Comedy yeah. Central. Yeah. yeah. She's been she's on Fashionably Funny. Has yeah. she been on this podcast? or? No, no, yeah. no, no. She's, um, sh- but like, the, she actually, I think she headlined the last one. She headlined the last show. That yeah. We she oh, headlined really? the last Fashionably yeah. Funny at Broadway Just, Comic Club. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but like, you know, she's like, I've known her for a long time and she's like awesome. Yeah. And she's like fucking hilarious. Like, and brings it every fucking time. Yeah. But if you every do bad, but if you're bad or real, she'll like rip into you. She'll let you know that you yeah. suck. <laughs> so you really got to be. So I try to do good. Ooh, Whenever I couldn't imagine judging. what that's like. Yeah, 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 yeah. she's uh, tough. Uh, Prison you. with no lube. Right. <laughs> no, exactly. Uh, if you've seen her commentary on Instagram uh, about 90 Day Fiance, <laughs> I can <laughs> imagine. Yeah. And just like, actually, it's like I can laugh because I'm like, I'm not these people, but oof. <laughs> if mm. I was these people. Yikes. Oh, yeah. But that's the friend That's the friend you need. You, know? yeah, you need that person to just be like, no, baby, no, we're not going to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you're Love wrong. It. You're wrong. Mm-hmm. This is not working. Um, No, that's awesome. So uh, now, Lene, are you taking care of motherfuckers in 2018? Yeah. That's what I was wondering Ooh. when I met her. That's, that's, uh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> And I keep thinking like, oh, I'm gonna. I it started as a resolution, like I'm. This is a thing. I'm gonna start just like saying no and taking care of myself this year, and it's been so much easier than I thought it would be, because I just don't. I don't have the patience for bullshit anymore. Mm. I just don't, and I don't have. I don't have the patience for people who. I don't know what happened in last year if there was just so much going on. Last year was a rough year. Yes, but it I was. Just, yeah. It's like I'm so exhausted from people who expect me to take care of them. And this year is just driving me crazy where it's just like shut it down before it even begins. Like I had a friend oh, yesterday. Yeah. Like it's like I had a friend reach out and he was like, oh, I, you know, I'm sad and, you know, I, I just need someone to talk to. And I'm like, OK, but I only want to talk over drinks. Oh, okay, well, I got stuff going on. Like, I'm sorry, we can, you know, we can talk on the phone. Then the next day it was like, oh, do you want to get drinks today? And I'm like, no, I like, I'm coming from work. I'm gonna go home, but I do have a phone. Then I get some backwards like, oh, that's like something about well, everyone's avoiding me right now, and I just like. I had to take a step back. <laughs> yeah. I was like, let me have a moment and breathe. Just because I'm not taking care of motherfuckers doesn't mean that, you know, I want to, like, set somebody off or, like, be too mean about it. Yeah. But at the right. same time, it's, like, set the damn boundary. And I was like, look, like, everybody's got problems. You're not the only one. So you can't expect people to do your emotional labor for you. Right. But so many people expect you to do their emotional labor for them. I don't understand. It's like, give birth to my emotional baby. Yeah. Which uh, I can't do. I yeah, got my whole already. emotional family, okay? I don't have room for any more. I just, I don't. It's Do you ever just look at the phone sometimes when somebody's calling and you're just like, I could pick up this phone right now, but uh-huh. I'm going to send, I'm going to press yeah, yeah. Oh, All it's like a time. message. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I never ignore calls. I always let them go to voicemail because <laughs> then you let the person know that you're ignoring them and it's where things go bad. I mean, well, I'm, I'm just always like, I'm at, I was at work. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no one can dispute that. I mean, right. It's like quite possible that you were at work. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) 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 Or 
yeah. fucking if you're me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could, if it's you, you could be on a rooftop. Um, oh, nice. But. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds um, luxurious to me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, rooftop, what? <laughs> Brad is no, it? I mean, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't luxurious. I was fucking on a rooftop in Queens. That's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that still sounds just like luxury. I don't. Is it just me? That it sounds, sounds awesome, right? man. Like, a what? rooftop in Queens. That's fantastic. I mean, you could like, look at Manhattan while you're doing it. Right. Yeah, that was kind of nice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, it's like looking at the skyline. Yeah, Unless exactly. it's bad, in which case then you're just looking at where you should be. Yeah. I.e. home. Yeah. yeah. Or just hoping that you don't fall off the roof. If that's, oh, no. If we're, I'm scared of that. heights, so that was like not a factor. <laughs> we were like in the definitely middle. inside of the roof. Like, yeah, okay. It wasn't like on the edge of the roof. Yeah, yeah. Well, that would be crazy if it was on the edge of the roof. That's yeah. some real. Yeah, because we're like hard to get into it. Yeah. But it's probably like, I don't know, it's probably like hotter, I would imagine, at the edge because like you could fall off. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, because it's like you have that added, like, yeah, oh, oh, this is yeah. dangerous because, like, we're out in the open, and oh, this is dangerous because we could both could die. die. Yeah. Could you go die? No, that's never a no. Although but. it could just totally ruin it. I don't know. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I pump hard. And what if, like, yeah. you know, I get into it, and it's like, bow, and then he just falls off the roof. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's, that's that would be yeah, quite that'd oh, be a story. Oh shit! Sounds I mean, like a like order SVU. That? But you're like guaranteed to get on the news after yeah. that. Happens, yeah, for yeah, pretty sure. much for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, 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 uh. I feel like I feel like your your online presence would go up quite a bit, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, because like, oh, who yeah. wouldn't oh, want to yeah. comedian fuck guy off the roof? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> news exactly. at eleven. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um. So now, uh. James, are you uh, a fairly religious fellow? Not really, no. Not particularly. Okay. Like, do you have a faith or? I mean, I, I suppose, yeah. Um, I'm not super religious, though, no. Okay. I was raised Catholic, but I'm not, you know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, like, I'm not, like, super against it either. I'm not, like, you know, fuck God and all that, like some people are. I'm just kind of. No bouts with Scientology. I like, I, oh, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. Jo- I said. I said on well, the message. Didn't I'm give like. Any topics? So I'm just like fucking grasping. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to give topics? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, she was asking. What was the question that you that you asked about? Uh, something about uh, Dave was like, "Oh, talk about your faith on air," and I'm like, "Give me 20 minutes, and I'll convert you to Scientology." Right. So, like, I thought <laughs> I you were like a, a literal Scientologist. No, no. no. Um, so now, was Although that lady did, I, actually your cousin? No, no, we're not related. Okay. Uh, no, I don't. We had the same last name, though, so that was pretty cool. Oh. Was and I like just a... happened to be friends with her dad on Facebook, which is even weirder. Weirder, yeah, because yeah, I was just like, oh, my God, they're cousins. Yeah, no, we're not. I did. I actually did go to a What sign. are we talking about? Yeah, I'm lost. <laughs> oh, this is like an inside baseball thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it, went, it went, uh, yeah. So, like, um... Uh, Dave Cyrus wants to be uh, converted to a, a religion. He is uh, my co-host on Blame Storming, and so like I had posted that like he's looking t- for conversion. Is he actually, or uh, is it just kind of like I don't bit... ask these questions. Yeah, yeah, like you know, thing. if somebody <laughs> asks, if somebody has a dream, I try to help them achieve it. Um, You're very supportive. Yeah. Like, I'm super supportive. Like, you know, I'm just, like, I don't ask these questions. Yeah. It's like, it's not my place to decide whether or not he actually wants to get, be converted or um, if he doesn't. Uh, but if you say, hey, I, I need to find someone to convert me, I'm going to try to help you achieve yeah. your dreams. Um, so uh, you had said that you were going to try to convert him to Scientology, yes. and somebody had commented on the post. Uh-oh. That um, hey, I think we're related, and I, I got super <laughs> excited that I thought James and this. Well, lady no, we're part of the same Scientology family, is what she meant. That's what she was saying. Oh, I we're thought, part of an intergalactic family. Yeah, uh, I'm making this all up. This yeah, because they have the same like, last <laughs> name. Wait, what? So like, this lady and and James had the same last name, and she's like, "Oh, you have my father's first name," and I got like super excited because I'm like. Oh my god, like what if they're siblings and they don't know that their dad's yeah. a piece of shit? <laughs> um like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fair, fair. All right. Um 
I, uh, but like James has just dashed my hopes. Uh, yeah. So they're not related. No. Although it's, it's not a very common last name, my last name. So it isn't. You could be related. Who knows? Yeah, you, you guys. I could, could take like the, what is it, an ancestry and, test? It's like nine dollars. Yeah, you is guys it worth should it? I don't do know. like twenty three me to see if you guys are actually. No, it's related. like hundred bucks. Is it? Yeah. yeah you but you find it. everything, yeah. right? Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. I definitely people who've tried it who it was like inconclusive, but I don't think they give you a refund. So inconclusive. It was how? inconclusive. Yeah. What do That's, you mean? Uh, the whole point of an ancestry test is like to answer all the questions. That you have. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, if it I helps, my friend was black, so like maybe. Oh they just well, put there's. Like, s- yeah. You're you're from somewhere. Like yeah. I always <laughs> have a problem with that because like I like I I want to take the ancestry uh, test, and I'm, I was thinking about twenty three me. There's actually one that is supposed to be like specifically for black people yeah, that I've will tell that. you uh, where in Africa you're from. Uh, because like my whole thing is just like I don't want to take the test and then be like you're from Africa. I'm like, mm. well, yeah, I, yeah uh, but where? What? Like, where am I from? Yeah. Where are my people? Yeah. Yeah. Who am like, I? I like, can look in the mirror and tell you that. Like, yeah. I want a test like that, but I want it to go like ten steps farther. I don't know. Call it reparations. Like, figure out exactly where I'm from, what tribe my family yeah, and, goes and, back and to, and find me some living relatives that I can go stay with and learn some things about my culture. Yeah, like, and also. Yeah. That's that's what and, I want to know. You know? And Africa is such a gigantic continent. I mean, it's bigger than Europe. It's bigger than North America. It's such a, there's so many countries in Africa, exactly. too. Yeah. And there's Am different I, cultures. I mean, you could go, you go Egypt, Tunisia is more of an Islamic culture. South Africa is, you know, there's more mix of white and black people. And then, you know, it's just different countries in Africa have different cultures. So it is yeah. interesting. It's like, For sure. oh, who am I? Yeah. Like, I'm taking this test to find that out. Don't tell me I'm from Africa. That's I know, bitch. Like, right? I tried <laughs> to blow dry my <laughs> hair. Uh, <laughs> well, no, my, my dad's adopted. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. He doesn't know, like, his, he doesn't know, like, who his mom is or like, who his dad oh. is. Like, I didn't find out until, like, my grandmother passed away when I was 21 that, like, that wasn't my real grandmother. Like, my yeah. dad's adopted. Like, oh, you found out, like, at the funeral? You found out? It was, after the funeral, yeah. It was like, we had to sit down and have a family meeting. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. In a family meeting? Yeah, right after the funeral. Like, literally right after but my like, funeral. But, like, that oh. should be, like, either, like, they tell you that shit beforehand yeah. or they tell you yeah. that. Well, so like, when you're, like, no. spreading grandma's ashes. <laughs> By the way, this yeah. wasn't your gray old grandma. <laughs> That right. does, did she die suddenly? Or? Well, no, that yeah, seems she, like a great she, deathbed yeah, she died. She died uh, from a heart attack, like kind of oh, okay. suddenly. Okay, so she wasn't like but, on her deathbed. But no, or she had she had made my dad promise that like when like I was born, like when my dad first started having kids, like that they wouldn't tell like the kids that like. Yeah. That what we that wasn't my real grandmother until like she passed okay, away. Okay, that's it was, different. Like, yeah, a promise. Like and yeah. so my dad upheld that right, until that like sense. after yeah. my grandmother passed away, and then as soon as she passed away, he let us know that he was adopted. Gotcha. Mm. All right. It's intense. That's yeah. Nice. So that's why I really got to do twenty three and me or ancestry yeah. something something like, to find I don't know out because you don't know who. So yeah. Right. Thing you don't about know your. That is, uh, someone we were talking about this other day, and uh, my friend was saying that there's like part of the thing that you sign off on when you do things like twenty three and me is like giving them. <laughs> them like control over your, your DNA, DNA. Like, the rights yeah. to your DNA. I think they own your <laughs> so, DNA. Like yeah. that's why I haven't done it cuz like um yeah. it sounds like crazy or whatever but like um I'm about to give you some like inside scoop of myself. Ooh. So um I have regrown my tonsils multiple times. So yeah. like I Whoa. regrew my right tonsil three times and my left tonsil twice. Yeah. Um and so do you I, feel that though? Does it? You can tell when it's regrowing. I I do, and my doctor never believes me. And so, like literally, like when it's happening, I constantly live in this state of like, mm-hmm. you know, when you're about to cry and you feel that lump in your throat. Yeah. yeah. So like, I will go through months of that sensation, yeah. like twenty four seven. I'll wake up feeling like I'm about to cry, like, and I know I'm not about to cry, but like my throat will feel yeah, like yeah. that sensation of about to cry. Wow. And so like, I'll go to the doctor, and they'll be like. Oh, like you know, like you're fine, blah blah blah. And I'm like, no, like that, like this, I know is something. Finally, like I finally got a good surgeon that like listens to me and understands my situation. But like beforehand, 
I literally had to trick a receptionist into giving me a new doctor to check on my throat because wow. like I went to my, like my normal ENT and I was just like, listen, I've been looking in the mirror. I see something. It yeah. looks like it could be a tonsil. I have this feeling in my throat like 24 seven. I feel like I'm about to cry. He's just like, oh, it's probably scar tissue. You're just probably really sensitive. And I'm like, yeah, but scar tissue shouldn't look like a whole organ. Yeah. Like, you know, and so like, then I went to the receptionist and I was just like, oh, like, when is he going on vacation? <laughs> and so oh, then shit. they're like, oh, he's going to be on vacation in two months. Like, oh, what a bummer. He said I need to make an appointment for two months. Can I make an appointment for two months? Like, and so like, I literally, nice. I literally did that. I went in and they, uh, the doctor's like, oh, how are you feeling? I'm like, I feel like I'm about to cry all the time. I got yeah. this thing in my throat. And so... Then he was just like, well, I don't know why they didn't take out your right tonsil when they took out your left. I'm like, but they did. They did. And then he's like, no, they didn't. You have a fully formed what? right tonsil. What? If they took it out, it, it wouldn't be there. Tonsils don't grow back. And I'm like, um, can you just wow. do me a favor? Just like flip the page on my chart. And so like he does. And then he's like, how are you feeling? I'm like, I'm not feeling good. That's why I'm fucking here. <laughs> Like, and then he's just like, I, like, but tonsils don't grow back. But I have one. Explain this. He's like, I can't. He's like, we're going to take that out on Friday. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> like, he's like, yeah. I my like, and so like, literally, like, they took it out and like, and I grew one back and I grew one. So like, I don't want another entity owning my DNA because yeah. like, what if like my DNA can like regrow hearts and shit? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't. I don't, don't, want... don't, don't. I mean, Sorry, that's... you just really took that to the next level. Right? Ah! It's like... Uh, <laughs> we're from tonsils to hearts. Yeah, it, like, so like, what if I can, like, regrow organs? Yes. But that's crazy. Like and a I super, don't want like, this a company is like, owning this, this that. Is like, this it's is not like, that crazy. But this seems like the first 10 minutes of, like, a superhero movie. No, it's they like, were... They just... There was uh, you not You can regrow everything. episode of Grey's Anatomy. The one before that, there was a person where, like, they... It was like a little piece of their spleen was left and that like grew mini spleens and like now it's one of their projects is like trying to grow it. Yeah. It's like a superhero. Like, I don't know. So that your body yeah. can just like regrow whatever it I mean, needs. I don't know. They you already have, have I mean, it, there's so. already a Black Panther, but maybe there's another superhero you could be. Uh, yeah. You, no, no, no one can have Black Panther. No, I know. I'm saying no, there's yeah. another. I don't want to be Black Panther. <laughs> I'll, like a female I'll be Black, Black Tonsil. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it. That um, does look pretty. <laughs> Townsles aren't Bloody. pretty, bitch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but it's just weird because, like, that's something I feel like I, I I know, like, as a society, we're going through Trump Nation and all of this stuff. But like, when are we going to address owning our own genetic material? Yeah. yeah, because we haven't talked about it yet. But I feel like if there's anything in this earth that, like, you should own, it's your own DNA. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, it's specific to you. And, like, oh, like, I just want to find out what region in the world I'm from, and now we own your DNA. Like, yeah. how is this possible? Yeah, and there's got to be another way like, that they could find out, you know, who you are without taking your DNA. It's, it's not even know. that. It's It's literally, like, so unless you have... My mom made me do it. It's all so disgusting to keep spitting in a tube because I, if you don't have enough spit, you just like keep trying. Um, <laughs> but my mom made me do it. She had done it, but my dad hadn't done it. Okay. And I'm like, I'm not gonna hound dad to pay however much money to get this thing done. So unless both of your parents do it, and technically their parents, they can't build a full profile. So they load your stuff into this, like to their site, and then it like. It's like a weird kind of genetic version of Facebook where they okay. like yep. people who have sort of the same makeup can it's like, oh, this person may be related to you. And you get all these weird messages of like, cousin. It's like, no. I was <laughs> so, like, who the fuck oh. are you? Yeah. You get pinged with somebody in Africa, like, oh. It, it's, 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 I, I, or Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. I just, that, but that's just, sorry, 23 and me. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> like there's, I would hold out for because like a someone, better solution. Someone recommended to me if I do it to wait until I'm on vacation in like Switzerland or like a foreign nation that doesn't own your genetic material yeah. once you do it. 
and then they're just like just stay at your trip long enough to get your results and that they like legally can't own your material because it's illegal in that country they like all told me like if you do it do it when you're in a country that uh, like it's illegal for them to own your genetic matter once you do it are there any more of these by the way we do not but we can all right, I'll have dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I mean, There's nothing to mix it with, is there? Yeah. Well, we I'm have like. Uh, uh, we d- we don't have cups. Uh, uh, well, you could put the whiskey in the yeah, because no one drank out of that bottle. Was this ginger ale? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is such a college party right now. Yeah. It is. Oh my god, I I can go get you. I a do. Cup. Oh, would, would that be great? Yeah. I'm like very needy. <laughs> I get people complain about me because I'm always I'm needy. You're, you're like, I, appreciate it. I love your shirt, by the way. <laughs> Can we show that shirt? Can Robbie we, uh, looks absolutely well, he, he was in a, yeah. Can you describe what that is? What, it's a great it's shirt. Just, it's, it's, it's a green shirt. Where'd it's you, it's oh, a green turtleneck. Where'd you get it from? Marbleized green turtleneck. I love it. It's very nice. <laughs> I'm not fancy enough for wherever that was. but None of us color. are fancy enough for whatever that was. <laughs> um... T- um, how long have both of you been doing comedy? Um, what what kind of comedy? Just stand up in general. Oh, I don't I don't do a lot of stand up. Oh More really? More of like improv, comedic storytelling, oh, some no. poetry here and there. A lot uh, of comedic acting. I've been actually interested in starting improv. I've really wanted to get into it. A lot of my, um, a lot of people I know that have done improv and stand up say improv helps so much stand up a lot, it, it, and you could just tell they just like know how to perform. People who do stand, uh, who do improv, when they're on stage doing stand up, they're much more relaxed and they mm-hmm. don't have these like brain farts in between. They're just very natural on stage. So that's why I, I kind of wanted to start improv. You learn to just roll with exactly whatever. Yeah, exactly. Happens, <laughs> <laughs> and you learn to not care if people yeah. are laughing or not yeah, you're like yeah, ah, yeah. this is for me i don't know if you're doing out there uh, and that's like for me like the worst part though cause <laughs> it's like and i've been to like a bunch of improv shows but like i literally die inside for you guys when nothing's happening because i'm yeah. just like as a stand-up it's just like, oh yeah it's like laughs per minute it's mm-hmm. like don't you guys know that you should have had a laugh in your first 20 seconds <laughs> like what are you doing what are oh my god it's mm. a minute and 20 seconds in nobody's <laughs> Oh my god, they're gonna kill themselves after this. Yeah. Like, does anybody huh. take the scissors from these people? Cause <laughs> 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 no, but a lot of it, I know a lot of funny improv comics, comics mm-hmm. who started with improv. They're just f- really funny, they're really good on stage. So. I think you have to be able to read the silence, or I think maybe because I come from theater, I, yeah. I, you want to be able to feed off the audience, but sometimes people are quiet because they're listening and inside, like, huh, hey, that's funny, but they're just like, yeah, not. Exactly. It's like they don't want to miss things. And then there are times where, like, oh, you're just dying. Yeah. The moment is when you see an improv team and they're trying and then they all kind of collectively realize they're dying. And there's that, like, moment of just like, thanks. What do we do now? That's what I'm like. Oh no, no, keep going! Ah, it's, it, We're it's talking dead. about imp- improv and stand up. Are you? Are you what what oh, do you I've, prefer? I've never done improv on stage for like comedy, just like in acting classes, as opposed to like. What about stand up? Oh, stand up! Yeah, I'm, I'm a stand up comedian. <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah. No, I, I, I've seen you. Before. I've definitely seen you before. <laughs> and oh, so How funny. long have you been doing stand up? Uh, I've been doing Santa for about a year and a half now, almost two years. Two years. Say, like, that was two, almost a disaster. Two years. Yeah, that was almost on her. She's like, "Watch your hands, bro." Um, oh, it's still fizzy. I thought it was flat. Damn, about like two years, huh? It's just gone by fast. It I, does. It really does. Like We've been doing this show for yeah. Yeah, it's, I, I feel like you're years. probably closer to three, but like yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you were definitely doing stand up when I was here last time, and you weren't like new at it. So, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just naturally funny. But yeah, no. thanks. But like now, <laughs> like I do a lot One of, of those mofos. <laughs> 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 I mean, but no, it's it's I I've cheated because like I took acting classes like all of my life. So like when I came into stand up, I feel like I 
kind of like knew how to put together a monologue. Yeah. But not everybody takes acting classes know how to put together a monologue in, a, in, a, in like that. <laughs> Funny that's fashion. Like that. yeah. And, and, yeah, that's kind of And true. a lot of actors is like, they push you to be dramatic. It's like you're not a real actor unless you're doing the, the dramas. But it's like, it's harder to do comedy. So a lot of actors can't do comedy because they just like, they don't understand the balance. Like you can make somebody cry. That's easy. Like, mm. Okay. All right, well. Yeah, mm. don't, don't downplay yourself. Thank yeah. you. Okay, good. Yeah. And I mean, thi- there's also a thing called presence, darling. Not everyone yes, has it. Yes, that this is true. So, like, how long have you been doing it, James? Uh stand up about almost three years. Two okay, after three years. But my first year was so on and off; it's like hard to even count. But I'd say a solid two and a half years. Okay. Either that or seven years. I don't know. It's, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been uh, it's been about three. Yeah, I'd say three. <laughs> I'm gonna s- I'm gonna settle on three. That's it. Cause, Cause I you know, I mean, five and a half. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I started the winter 2015. Yeah. So. Nice. Yeah, cause you have like an exact date. Like no, it's like the date that I gave birth to comedy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. You know, it's funny because like I like have people be like, oh yeah, like we did this show together however many years ago that I'm not saying out loud because it's in your business. Um <laughs> and like I. Uh, and I'll just be like, we did? Yeah. I don't... Uh, like, that's what I hate about, like, the Facebook <laughs> memories, because I'm just kind of oh, like... Yeah, oh, that this. fucks me up every time. Yep. Like, Oh, I'll see things yeah. like eight years, seven years you've been friends with. I'm like, what? I've been yeah. friends with this person eight years? That's you're like, and you look down, it just ages you even more every time you, like, look at that shit. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I you see. moved to New York five years ago. And yeah. those I've been those saying three for, like, the past two. Yeah. For people that you blocked way back in the day. You're like, oh, this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. my God. That, <laughs> it's like, it's like they've been Mr. dead. Are they seeing this, too? Like, what is happening, Facebook? They've been dead for four years. <laughs> like. <laughs> no, my ex-boyfriend that had a tattoo on my chest that I covered up with a phoenix. Uh-huh. Like, uh, pop up. Like, uh, remember this the word Facebook or no? memory? Uh, no, they'll show, like, a picture of me and him that I posted yeah. on yeah. Facebook, like, fucking six years ago. You're like, yeah, Facebook's dirty. Yeah, they're playing bad. Yeah, ball. you're a they fucking are. bitch. Facebook yep. sometimes. Yeah, seriously. You know like, thanks. Like, I just got my morning coffee. That's what I got to start out with. Uh-huh. Remember the fucking. And they like, don't trying show to remind you those memories shit. every day. Right. Oh Only no. Certain days where it actually is in your feed. Like, hey, remember this? Like, God, yeah, right. Come on. Five years ago, <laughs> around like, this time, you remember when you, you were, were in happy? a beach in Malibu, happy <laughs> with this man? Yeah. Uh-huh. Then you it's, had to testify him against him in court. Like, this is the first day of the rest of my life. No. And then no, it, it tags, not. and then it tags the persons so that they know too. Exactly. So even if you don't want them to know, it's like, fuck. Well, I don't even like this person. And <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> It's just like, oh my god, remember when we went there? It's like, fuck you. Yeah, exactly. And then it's always the shit you really want to forget that, like, then that yeah. person will share it on their face. Remember this? No, 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 no. Don't show anyone. It's like, you remember when I was on the bath salts and I stole your car and I crashed <laughs> yeah. it? It's like, fuck you. Uh-huh. Um, so, Lene, how do you feel about people sitting in your bed with street clothes? I thought I was the only one who was just like, just just don't do it. I was like this before I moved to New York. Um, I it just ew. where did you move here from? I lived in California before this, but oh, I really? lived in Chicago part? and like all. Of, um, I lived in San Diego. Oh, I always like. Nice. I'm always like. I don't know how to answer this question. It depends on how much you know about a place. Like <laughs> <So laughs> right, no, because it's very confusing. Because you said Chicago, right? Like yeah, Chicago, I lived here California. From San Diego, but I <laughs> Chicago, but from I, Chicago, but like, I grew up in Chicago. Okay. I'm from the Midwest as well, but like I always Where say Chicago. From? Yeah, because people don't know Milwaukee. Like, it, it, yeah. well, wait, I'm Milwaukee and Chicago are two different states. They're like an hour and a half away from each other, and like it's easy to just say. Chicago and yeah. people like nod their heads and I think go, every, yeah. okay, you're from Chicago. Yeah. No, a lot of people do not know Milwaukee. Milwaukee really? Well, They're like, people are stupid too. Oh, you're from Mississippi? I also have to say like, Chicago because people don't know Vernon Illinois. Shirley? Oh. Can you just say Wisconsin? Everyone knows Wisconsin. Wisconsin, I do just say Are you from the city like, of Milwaukee? Like, yeah, I'm from summer. the city of Milwaukee. Yeah. I went to Milwaukee High School of the Arts. Shout out. That's fantastic. I've never been. As a Chicagoan, I prefer you to say Milwaukee than just Are you Are you from New York? (gasps) Yeah. Okay, me too. Because then I think Cheesehead, and I'm like, "Mm." mmm. We're we're as close to Wisconsin. Okay, I'm from Westchester. Okay, what part of Westchester? Yonkers, Wyotala, Dad. What part of Queens? Bayside. Okay. Oh, okay. Where's Bayside? uh, it's northeast Queens. It's like a. Bo- is it by the that. water? Yeah, it's yeah. by yeah, it's by Little Nick Bay. Okay, because like I. 
It's yeah. almost Long Island. It's like a five minute drive, and you're yeah. in Long Island. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's okay. like way out. I can't. Remember. I have to take the L I double R. That's how when you were talking about the L I double R. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how I know it because I always have to take it. Because I just moved to the city from um, uh, Jackson Heights. Okay, that's like 10, 15 minutes from me. Yeah. Down Queens Boulevard? Yeah, yeah, down Queens Boulevard. Okay, yeah, you're not like, too far from me. Yeah. Is there like a yacht club or something? Mount there? Melba, yeah. Okay. That's like five minutes from me, yeah. All right, because like I... No, but that's like a rich area. I'm not... I'm more of the sub... Like, I'm not... Because like in area. the summers, I had like friends who'd be like, let's go to the yacht club. I'm like, where are we going to Queens? I'm like, we're going to a yacht club in Queens. Mm-hmm. Um, But it's like literally... Queens like, is its own... Thing, it though. Is, like, there's very different besides neighborhoods. Besides, like, Manhattan, like, I feel like that's, like, my other favorite, like, borough. Just because there's just, there's so there's much. There's a lot of stuff. There's I mean, where there's I, a lot. Yeah, where I live is the suburbs. It's, like, Long Island. It's not, yeah, it's there's not like Astoria. But people shit. here Queens, they think Astoria. Or mm-hmm. Long Island Which is Astoria is its own thing. Yeah. But, like, there's also, like. And you go to Rockaway. I mean, Rockaway. Like, Queens is very big, too. It's, it's humongous. It's gigantic. Yes. There's two, I think there's two million people in Queens. Oh, sure. It's, it's ridiculously yeah. congested, and I look kind of left it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, back, well, back. No, He's like too no, much, right. too much. Now that I'm like uptown with raccoons and shit, <laughs> Just, you're like yeah. ah, too much. Hey, too raccoons much. are cool though. Yo, no, because you're talking about in the first segment. Like literally, like I left out my apartment and I've seen this. I've seen a raccoon like three times How yeah. far since like 173rd in Amsterdam. I like. Dude, I Lucky saw like one cats. walking across the street, like walking down the street, like and I crossed the street because like that was like Yeah, was but you're from the Midwest raccoon. though. So like I and even in the Midwest I didn't like raccoons <laughs> then either. Okay. I He's still like, listen, boo boo. I right. do not like raccoons here. I don't like them there. I don't nope, like them anywhere. Don't <laughs> uh. then like I like went out to like meet this guy that, like's been sucking my cock like every day. Yeah. And at like one o'clock in the morning, there was a raccoon just sitting there, like on the corner, waiting for like the light to change. Just judging. Just he was like, just oh, chilling. Yeah, Where judging. you coming from, girl? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. So now, like, you moved uptown. You found like new bows up there. I have already found some new dick. It's great. There's a lot of there's a lot of it going around. Uptown. Yeah, there's yeah, like, yeah. Brazilian. I found this Brazilian guy that just likes to suck my dick. It's hey, really isn't great. Isn't that the dream, yeah. really? Yeah. Living the dream. Living yeah. the dream. I don't have to do shit. Brazilian, come in, like drop my pants. pretty attractive, right, usually? Yeah, like, yeah, it's he's like a cutie. It's just a race of attractive Yeah, folks. he's in his 40s, so he's a nice salt and pepper beard. Oh. Ah. Manly. I poppy. Uh-huh. <laughs> he just sits there and sucks my cock. What's up, Ariana? <laughs> 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 Shout out to the dick segment. I mean, um, gotta get a shout out. So, uh, yeah. no, go ahead. No, that's it. So, <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> that uh, that whole thing started and ended very differently. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, well, Sorry. we were talking no, about, was, uh, we were talking talking about, about queens, and then it turned to dick sucking. Um, um, Brazil, different kind of queens, but it's still. I don't know. Yeah. They suck a lot of dick in Queens. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm missing out on it, but yeah. Do you think other than like sitting on my bed with like street clothes, yeah. it's like when people put their like purses yes. or book bags on the bed, it's like yeah. you put your book bag on the floor of the subway. Yeah. This is like a homeless person and rat piss. Yeah. And you just put this all over yeah. my bed and my couch. And bed bugs. That's how yeah. you, that's like that's like the easiest way to get bed bugs. Like what are you doing? Yeah. My ex roommate's yeah. boyfriend put his feet no. on the coffee table. No. Wow. No. He like literally just mm-hmm. like with his shoes on. No. People don't yeah. See, there's yeah. A yeah. Etiquette yeah. etiquette, name, etiquette so is like different why? for everyone. I mean I, I was just like animal. Ugh. Yeah, no, uh, people. But how, what do you say? That's like get out of my house. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> there was the um, there was a good it was good housekeeping, I believe, that just had an article about this. And uh, <laughs> what the do you say? Was that's like, a good question. She would like have people come over, or, like have a guy come over and be like, I like I need you to take your clothes off, and he would like be like, ooh, and she's like, no, 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 I just need you not to sit on my bed in your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take your clothes off. You gonna sit down. You gotta be in your undies. But like, see, <laughs> if you go to somebody's house and they ask you to take your shoes off, though, and that's a lot of that's houses. Like a, 
that's a yeah. lot of houses, but I still feel like uh, I don't know. But well, then I'll but then I'll go into how that. How clean your floor is? It's yeah, like, but the, but it's it's. I think it's just. It's a, like that episode of Sex in the City too, where like her shoes got stolen. I think like she right. went to a party and she took off her Louboutin shoes. Oh no, for a then, party. I, I mean, I'll get that. I'll get. Can you take your shoes off a lot? But then I'll go into houses like nice houses, like oh, do I have to take my shoes off? And I'll get looked at like I have three heads. Like, what do you mean? You have to. Fucking I'm not take gonna your ask. Off. You're gonna have to tell me. Yeah, I'm gonna just walk in. With my I shoes. usually just take my shoes off. I, I, mean, I, oh, too, I look at the situation, but then so you like, look weird if everyone else has their shoes on. And well, you if don't. you go in there and you I mean, see a weird. rack of shoes right by the door, yeah. and all the guests all are walking in socks and shit, then you know this is a take your shoes off kind of house. Mm. If like you go in there and everybody's got their street shoes on, then it's not. But like my whole problem is, is that like sometimes I'll go into someone's house. And it's like a take your shoes off kind of house. You can tell. And I yeah. see like a like a layer of like a quarter inch of dust yeah. on the floor. Yeah. It's a take your shoes off kind of house, but it's not sock friendly. You like yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like you're gonna fuck up my socks yeah. for you this dirty ass floor. Yeah, like you yeah. want me to take my uh-huh. shoes off? You need to clean this motherfucking floor. That's but why like there's... the shoes are part of the outfit. Yeah. If you see me set up right now, like this is like. A part of the whole outfit. Oh yeah, like, you your greens play uh, play like, on each other. If you had socks, it. I would change everything. Hello, <laughs> like yeah. the sweater wouldn't be just as cute yeah, no, anymore. It wouldn't. Like, like yeah. if, you're, if you, I mean, I grew up that way, so it's just like it's a habit for me. But technically, that you're then supposed to have. Um, like the rack of slippers by the door, and so if right. you ask them That's to take their shoes polite. off, you give them slippers to wear that are, you know, and so like, and like spring form, the comfortable slippers, like the nice plush, you know, little yeah, yeah. Like if you go to my mom's house, because I don't let a lot of people come over, so it's like my mom's met you before, she will buy you your own pair of slippers and so okay. the next time you come over you have slippers she, oh let me get your slippers and it's like they're your slippers yeah. <laughs> so like, but they were here one time for five minutes pick me up doesn't matter they have their own pair of slippers now so I mean if you're gonna do it that way then then that's hey. yeah that's yeah. different that's extra it, yeah. it is a little I know there are some cause there's some cause like then it's like mom I don't I this is, They're this not is a fuck buddy. This is not somebody. Hello. <laughs> right. If it's every like, guy I brought over you bought <laughs> slippers for, you're going to end up with a closet full of fucking slippers. Yep. You're going to pull out some teal ones, and I'm yep. going to be like, well, I, 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 I don't I mean, know who those belong to. I hope you got the tag. <laughs> I, I, I work in um like TV production. That's like my day job. And we had a shoot at a house one day, and we had to wear like bags on our feet. Like they made oh, us yeah. slip on like these covers or bags that tell like they were such germaphobes that people were in the shoes. house. Yeah, and yeah. I've never seen that before. It was like crazy. See, those are the parts of things like I don't understand. It's like, like if it wa- you're a germaphobe, but even like the why socks would you enough. hire a camera crew yeah. to come into your house? Cast, crew I guess for the money to I don't come know. into your house. So like, but go that's like and give weird. I mean, right? Because if I'm a real germaphobe, I'm gonna spend like the next like six months thinking so you about nobody like, coming up in this house. Ha! <laughs> yeah. We had a whole camera crew in here. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. My mom used to do that when people like where pair people would come to the house. Like one, you called them, but she would give them like the, the little booties that they yeah. used during surgery and make them put them on, take them off. But then like she she would come to me and be so pissed off. She'd be like, I can't believe he wore his booties outside and back in the house. I'm like, <laughs> Mom, he gotta go in and out. What do you expect? <laughs> like, yeah. See, I'm not I'm not I'm like not a germaphobe at all. I'm very just That's like I don't care. I was just thinking about, <laughs> like, my whole thing is like there's germs everywhere and you're gonna get them. You might as well just That's exactly that's Especially exactly living in feeling. this city. Yeah. Uh, you can't but if avoid I'm getting like, germs, I wanna enjoy how I got them. Exactly. I don't wanna just get them from like like, oh, you're just walking up in my house. Yeah. yeah. That's I want to know who the asshole is that found out about germs and just told everybody about <laughs> I know, right? What like, is it? Why did that motherfucker just keep it to himself like, oh, shit, this shit's everywhere. <laughs> should I tell everybody or should I, like, he told nah, everybody? Chill. He should have just kept it to himself. <laughs> like, straight up. I mean, I have germs to thank for my very strong immune system now, but at the same time, like, if it's walking around my place, whatever, but, like, Yo, don't sit on my bed. Because, yeah. like, that's, I'll be in my sleep shirt. Oh, I try to be all comfy. Uh, don't sit on my bed. You sleep in yeah. a sleep shirt? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're so comfortable. So anyone I'm here butt ass naked. Really? Uh, no, I, I can't it's... sleep like that because it, it's like. I don't like my skin touching my skin. I can't really? sleep that way. Yeah. I can't. I used to sleep naked. I can't anymore. It's just. 
Really? See, y'all uh, also don't have titties, and so like you gotta like, like uh, yeah. See, I don't got titties. I got testicles. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's harder. They, yeah, like, but you just like swing it on your thigh. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, <laughs> like it's stuck at some point to your thigh. Like when you get hot when you're sleeping, do you have to like peel your testicle off? Your oh leg? yeah. Oh, you just well, you just move over, oh. just move your leg, and yeah. your testicle will move. Yeah. Yeah, now once they get stuck in a spot, they're yeah. stuck. You yeah. gotta just like, yep, like, uh-huh. and, like flip them around. Yeah. How big are like, these testicles? Tender. Yeah, that's, that's, that's another I'm, question. I'm, I'm, testicles. I'm talking about my chesticles, yeah, not my testicles. These. Oh, okay, you're talking about some titties. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's a whole nother thing because you got titties, so like, yeah. And then if you lean on the wrong way, you can't breathe, and so like you gotta yeah. like. Wake and then, up or you lean on like, it the wrong way, and you got a nipple, and you're uh, like, ah, yes, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No, it's a problem. It's too much. It's a problem. Too much. Uh, so, Lene, uh, do you feel like you need to explain things to grown people about common areas? God damn it! Yes, all the time. I don't understand. I feel like I didn't have this until I moved to New York, but like people who don't clean up after themselves yeah. and then just say like, oh, either, oh, ha, ha, I'm lazy or, oh, ha, ha, I just like don't see the mess. How the fuck do you not see a mess that you made? That's what I don't. And if it's like little things, okay, maybe you don't see how much you shed, but like you do see all the grease that you splattered all over yeah. the stovetop. Like, come on, like my roommate. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, well, we got to start rotating in the bathroom because, like, this is ridiculous. There are three of us upstairs, and I'm the only one cleaning the bathroom, and I'm tired of doing it. Yeah. So my roommate's like, oh, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to clean it next. I'm going to clean it next. And, like, three days later, why it took three days, I don't know. Three days later, comes back and was so proud. We're in the kitchen. She's like, I cleaned the bathroom. Want to go look? And I was yeah. like, dude, it's not a big deal. Like, I'll just huh. look later. Like, I'm not your mama. I just want you to contribute. Right. I go to get in the yeah. shower that night and didn't touch the shower. Didn't touch it. Still grimy. Everything. And I'm like, uh, it's. <laughs> I wanted to text him back again. I'm like, let me have a woo saw moment because I don't yeah. want to be too mean. So the next day I was like, um, hey, boo boo, uh, cleaning the bathroom means also cleaning the shower. It's like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. A week went by. I'm like, yo. <laughs> and I was getting so heated. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to let it just keep going. Because everybody knows that when, when the base of the tub gets dirty, it gets slippery. Right. I know this. So I'm careful. I'm going to wait to hear you bust your shit in the shower because then you'll understand why we've got to clean this thing regularly. Like You, you can can't... see the base of the tub. There's also that. Kind of disgusting. There's but... also yeah. that. Yeah. I don't understand. It's like it drives me crazy. But I'm like I'm tired of teaching grown people how to clean. Like you're in your 30s. It just What was your life before this? Oh, see, like I have a very similar situation because I, again, just moved into a new apartment. And like I have a roommate that like, I, I guess I'm a splatterer and I've been peeing on the floor. Mm. Okay. <laughs> We've all been there. Most, yeah. most, most guys, guys do. So like literally like the first time it happened, like he was like, wait, oh my God, there's pee on the floor. Like, and then like, again, like I came in, I will use the bathroom like yeah. right afterwards. He's like, uh, there's pee on the floor. I'm gonna clean it up. I don't want to step at it. I'm cleaning up pee. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so it's gotten to the point where I sit down when I pee. Oh no. Which is very comfortable. I mean, it is actually kind. Of, it's it's comfortable, weird at the same time. Yeah. Because like I don't know when I'm done. But how do you? How really? do you not know when you're done? You stop peeing. Yeah, you stop peeing. Do you not? I don't know about anybody else, but like my dick, like hangs like right there, like and it'll just like it'll go and then it'll stop because like you can't hear it. Yeah, it's, like it's right I don't know. It's like it's like a stop and start. I'd be worried about it like up. dipping in the water. That's like the worst thing. Like when I sit to like if I'm like peeing, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> something splashes and I'm like, no, uh, right. It's like right yeah. at that so, point like, where like it's like my dick is like hitting the like <laughs> toilet head. Yeah, it's like yeah. not like. It's like going, but like not going, but like knowing, but like not going. Yeah, like yeah. I don't know. It's like a toll. It's like, that oh. sounds bad for your bladder. I mean, well, either that or like I'm gonna splatter yeah. over the floor. But like, have to can clean you it like up. just not splatter on the floor? Like, don't you have aim? We <laughs> have. Ha- I am thirty four year something years old. <laughs> Thir- thirty. Thirty, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 something. <laughs> and I've and- had this issue in general. I'm a splatterer. Some people just, some guys but just like, are. Is that just because, like, you're not aiming right? Like, I don't understand. 
sometimes I aim really correctly if I'm completely sober and I'm waking up in the morning. Oh, well, it depends on how early I'm waking up. And then sometimes I might come home and it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm drunk. Yeah. That's so right. feel like then you're that. realizing that you're not peeing on in the toilet, you're peeing on the side of the wall. Oh. Uh, yeah. in, All which, right. in which case I would clean that up. I mean, if it's late, it, like if, if I get up in the morning and they're, but like that I don't even get on because I was just like, our, the tile in our bathroom is dark, and so like you can tell when some pees in the floor is very oh, clear because you uh, get like the, right. like our, dried. Our, ours yeah. Is white. <laughs> yeah, ours so, is white, so it's the same way. Like you can just tell. Like wait, it takes thirty days to to make a habit. So just like get in the habit of just sitting down swipe. and peeing. Yeah. No, doing a little swipe with a little bit of toilet paper on the floor before you leave the bathroom. Just swipe. Yeah, floor, you could do that away. instead of sitting. Like and you before could just, you flush, like wipe just around. Swipe. Yeah, you know. I mean, is it wrong for a man to sit and pee, though? No, it just no. sounds like it's maybe sit not the most comfortable thing. I do. From it's how fun. you I mean, I described it. I, 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 I yeah. wouldn't. I mean, I, I can squat and pee, or normally I would sit and pee in my in my house. I sit and pee, but like out in public, I squat and pee. But like, I, I don't see that being like a problem. But like, if you know, you got some like rogue streams here and there, you just yeah, wipe the shit yeah, up. Like, yeah. so you know, you're being human. I think the problem comes like at the end of when I'm peeing, and then like, you have like that like it's weird, s- oh. like squirt, 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 yeah. squirt, like like the whole thing's not gonna hit the toilet. Yeah, that's yeah. A see, problem. like that doesn't even bother me. Like, I've had roommates who love like shit streaks on the toilet seat itself, like that. The I'm seat? like, oh, see, uh, on the seat. Uh, no. Yes. Oh, now that's a whole other issue. How are they blowing no, shit because, up like, like that? I'm, when I take a shit, I'm making sure like I flush two or three times and then like take the brush exactly. and yeah. make sure there's nothing left behind. I don't know, that's, no residue. Like a little bit of pee on the floor. I'm like. I, okay, I mean, yeah, until I your socks with two get in that men, shit. So, like, right. it's until fine. your roommate knocks on the door, <laughs> it's like you peed on the floor. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. No, I had a Did roommate that used like, to like oh. fall asleep on the toilet. I mean, like, so the, the, the little pee on the floor, like that. I'm like. It's not awful. Damn, I wish I had a roommate. That's all they did. They clean up at themselves. They're just like, bro, we'll pee on the floor? Like, yo, we good. <laughs> like, uh, that I can deal so with. So, you guys, I hate to do this. Oh, no. But it's time for us to wrap no. up. I know, I know. Uh, but before we go, just tell everybody where can they follow you on social media? What gigs do you have coming up next? I'm going to start with you, Lene. Ah, shit. Uh, I could start with Rodney. Follow me on the <laughs> social medias. Um, it's uh, Instagram. It's at Lene D. Priest. Uh, it's L-Y-N-A-E-D-E, capital P-R-I-E-S-T. Um or at Thoughtress, that's my poetry side. Uh, it's T H O U G H T R E S S. You can find all of my upcoming shows there. I usually post about them, or you can message me or find my my website is with both of my names. So yeah, James. All right, my Instagram is uh, at Pontello four four. That's where you can see uh, my pictures. Uh, Twitter is at Pontello eight 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 one. And upcoming shows, I don't actually know. I don't know what I have coming up. I got to look at the schedule. There is some stuff. I just got to look at the schedule. I'll post that. Uh, YouTube, I'm all over YouTube. I'm a YouTube kind of guy. Uh, yeah, I got a web series called Jim vs. the Week. It's like a mock uh, CNN. T- it's like a silly news show, basically. Nice. Cool. So you can go- YouTube that. And uh, yeah, otherwise, that's about it. Run it, Daniels. Okay, so I'm super excited because my favorite holiday is coming up, 420. And I'm yeah. booked on two different shows, the 19th and the 20th nice. with Marissa yeah. Smith, Fashion Be Funny. And I'll be doing shows uh, all about weed, just hosting and talking all about weed. There you go. So oh, come check me out at the Broadway know. Comedy Club. I didn't even know you were and, a weed fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm all about the marijuana, uh, I bro. I would have talked about Legalize that. Legalize it. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge fan. You can fan. catch me on my handles, Ronnie Downs, Facebook, Instagram, Ronnie Downs. Mm. Marissa Smith. Um. So, you guys, uh, next week I am going to be doing a charity uh, fundraiser for women of color for progress we're going to be at the uh bowery electric on thursday um the show i believe starts at seven o'clock they've got like open bar i'm going to be doing comedy with um Rhonda hansen and jen kwok it's going to be 
super fun. Um, if you want to see some progressive women of color in the um, public offices, definitely support them. Come to the show. Donate money. The, the whole uh, point of the fundraiser is to raise money for progressive women of color to join public office. Um you can catch me at Merriment and Mortification on April the 1st at Auto mm. Shrunken Head. Great show. I've, I've done it. It's fantastic. It's a super fun show. It's, it's I, I feel like it's like Pee Wee's Playhouse for comics. It's <laughs> like, you know, like anything goes there. Yeah. You can also catch me at uh, Greenwich Village Comedy Club, I believe on the 14th. And... 420 I will be at Broadway Comedy Club uh, follow me on Twitter at Marissa Smith follow this show on Twitter at Big Talk and Brew and follow my other podcast um, on Twitter at The Blame Storm have a good weekend you guys and remember Mueller just got subpoenas for Trump's uh, oh yeah we didn't talk about that yeah, that's we didn't um, for Trump's uh, corporations. So Mueller just crossed the red line and pissed on it. We'll see what next week looks like. Have a, a good week. Take care of yourselves. Take yes. care of each other. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.